into the New York end. And right away, Mike, we're seeing some strong hitting. Very much so. This is what you might expect from the Rangers, but it's coming up so far from Los Angeles. Buck in the neutral zone. Taken by Los Angeles. Carry on on the ice now. Right side to Jimmy Fox. A slap shot. And Baker just got a piece of it to the near side. New York loses it again. The King really fired up early in the game. A backhander on Baker. Puck loose out in front and cleared away by Beck. Tremendous early pressure by Los Angeles. We're just underway at the Forum in Inglewood. Down the right side comes Ron Dreschner. Dreschner playing at left wing. The latter part of the season for New York has an entire career on defense. And we get a hand pass here called against the Los Angeles Kings. So the faceoff will be back down to the Los Angeles zone. But boy, a great start to the game. Very much so, Joe. I'm going to be looking forward to watching this line of Terry on Fox and Jensen. I'll tell you, Jensen's a great skater, a great worker, and Terry on the Fox, two rookies playing in their first Stanley Cup, and I think they're very, very excited. They're going to create a lot of excitement they come out on this ice. This crowd's pumped up, ready to go, and it's not going to take much to get this one particular line going tonight. Jensen, of course, another Olympian like Mike in the 76 Olympics. Jensen had six goals from the faceoff. The puck goes down into the New York zone. And Baker's just going to let it roll and a race for the puck. See who gets there first. New York does as well have an icing call and bring it back down to the other end. So no score early in the first period. We've played just a minute and a half so far. There's a view of Dave Maloney. Maloney, of course, the captain of the Rangers until the one-third mark of this season when Craig Patrick had decided before the season started he was going to have three captains this year with Maloney in the beginning and in the beginning and Walter Kachuk in the middle. There's Patty right there. Craig Patrick took over on November 22nd from Fred Shiro, and he's done a great job. The team finished two games over 500 under Craig Patrick's tenure. Yeah, he's a quiet, uh, soft-spoken man. He doesn't say too much, but when he does get mad, when he does raise his voice a little, you're ready to listen because, like I said, he doesn't speak that harshly that often, but his players respect him, and he gets a good job out of him. Here's Marcel Dion on the faceoff for Los Angeles, so they've got the slightly abridged crown line out there right now. The triple crown line, as they call it, for Los Angeles on the faceoff against Allison. The puck controlled by New York. Don Maloney turns around for a shot just wide over to Eddie Johnstone, who had the best year of his career this year with 30 goals, only 34 his previous career. All told, now a battle in the corner along the boards. And a little pushing and shoving, but that's about it. Doesn't look like anything will occur here. And so with the score 0-0, the Rangers in Los Angeles, you're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Welcome back to the forum. The puck down at center ice, up the right wing side, the puck in the Los Angeles zone, and the King hauling down, or being hauled down on the play was Rick Martin. Fans a little upset about that, but a clean play. No penalty call there. Puck cleared along the far board. Dave Taylor trying to protect it. Goes behind the net to big Rick Chartraw. He gets a check from behind. Puck comes to the near side. Rangers try to keep it in. Katsopoulos, he loses the puck. Taken away by Martin. Martin was superb in his first start Saturday night for Los Angeles. He had a goal and an assist. The question is, though, can he keep that knee from puffing up with the pressure of Stanley Cup play when you have to play five games, perhaps, in short of time is seven nights. Buck goes back in behind the New York goal. Over to the far side of the Rangers. Try to skate it back out. Here's Mike Allison. Allison to center. Across the blue line. And he gets a fierce hit from Dave Lewis on the play. Barry Beck chasing the puck back down to the New York zone. Beck the number one draft pick of the Colorado Rockies in 1977. And they sold most of Manhattan to bring him to New York. Puck in the neutral zone. Back to Barry at his own end of the ice. Over to Ed Hospitar on the near side. Hospitar and Beck of really strong tough pair when they're out on the ice they both broke Fontenato's longtime Ranger record of penalty minutes a shot rolls in on Lassard he clears it off to Larry Murphy the outstanding rookie of Los Angeles puck goes back down to center ice taken there by Beck big Bubba from Vancouver British Columbia up to the neutral zone and an offside pass a two line offside pass so no score yet but plenty of slamming around early in the game very surprised at that too I was surprised that uh L.A. came out hitting. Uh, look at Coach Berry there. Probably one thing he told them before the game is, let's take control of it right away. But I was surprised they came out hitting. I thought the Rangers, being a more physical team, would come out. But right now, L.A.'s uh, been playing a little more physical. There's a look there at the Czech Lewis just labeled Allison. Oh. Boy, you don't come across that blue line with your head down. That's right. Rangers the second most penalized team in the league this year. Dave Lewis almost lost his skates on that play. Oh. Puck comes back over to Katsopoulos. He loses it. Billy Harris. Racing into the New York zone, he can't get there. 
Buck along the near boards, and the Rangers have it. Skating is back out to center. New York on the attack now. Nethery fires it to the right side, looking for Wallen, the recently acquired player from Sweden. King pass it out. A bit of a hand pass there, but they got away with it. And a two-on-one. Harris moving down. He shoots. Of it to get it wide of the net. A tip and deflection out in front. To the near side. Rangers have it. Hospital clears it to center. Dave Lewis gets it to Los Angeles. To the left wing. As Steve Jensen is back on the ice. He's being double and triple teamed. Fights for the puck along the boards with Barry Beck. New York comes up with a puck. New York skating it back out to center. Just fired into the zone now by Netheries. There's a line change here. Puck goes back in the behind the net for Los Angeles to Jerry Korab. Korab gets it to center to Terrian. Terrian. Gets across the line on the right wing side to the circle. He's got Jensen. He's got Buck. He shoots and it's just wide. Buck in behind the net. Fighting forward and it lands on the ice and the Rangers try to skate it back out. Out it comes around Duguay. Duguay up the right wing side to Talifus. Talifus drops the pass. Rangers have it. Don Maloney checked off the play by Fox. The Kings playing tonight's game with six players in their first or second year in the NHL. Buck back in the Los Angeles zone. Here's Mark Hardy. Hardy, born in Switzerland, has been an outstanding addition. Drafted last year by the Kings. A long, hard slap shot. Looks like Baker going to hold on when there might have been some question as whether or not he could have just as easily dropped it behind the net. Uh, Joe, I'm expecting something to happen sooner or later here, whether it be a penalty or a fight. Uh, there's been a lot of movement uh, between players bumping each other and a lot of players uh, whapping each other with the stick. Here's the look there and a nice play. Well, it wasn't really a shot on it. No. It wasn't a shot on that. Maloney deflected. got a stick on it and deflected it by Baker. So the faceoff to the right-hand side of Steve Baker played in 21 games for the Rangers this year and 25 down in New Haven. Puck goes in behind the net to Chris Katsopoulos, who signed as a free agent last year and has made the most of it. Up the left side to Ulf Nilsson. Nilsson passes over to the right wing side. Greshner into the zone on his off wing. Puck goes in along the boards. The Kings come up with it. Jerry Korab shoots it around the boards. Nilsson right out in front, but nobody there but Los Angeles. Cleared to center. Down the right wing, and we have a whistle here. We're going to get that penalty you're talking about, Mike, right here. So with a penalty call coming up, you're, we're live from the Forum in Los Angeles. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Penalty, number four, Jerry Korab. Two minutes for cross-checking to Jerry Korob at 4.58. So the power play is on for New York. And the power play for New York was the second worst in the NHL this year. Ron Greshner at the right point. Over to Barry Beck at the left side. Comes back over to Greshner. Greshner gets it back over to Bubba. Beck has it. Fires it into the left wing circle. Puck control there. Rangers trying to set it up. Hedberg goes in front of the goal. Nilsson skating across in front of Lassard. Greshner gets it back along the near board. Taken by Hedberg. Hedberg back out to Beck. Moves in. He shoots it. Goes very wide around the board. Puck comes out to the point, though, but now the Kings take it away. Danny Bonar with Don Luce as penalty killer. Luce, a long-time outstanding penalty killer in the NHL, of course. Team with Craig Ramsey at Buffalo. They have, may, may have been one of the best ever at that combination. Pass up the right wing. Chance for Hedberg. Goes into the right wing circle. Pass out in front. The Kings right where they're supposed to be, and Don Luce clears it down the ice. Going back to get it on defense. The Rangers have it there. Barry Beck in the neutral zone. He lost the puck to Bonner who takes it away. So the Kings doing a good job on penalty killing right now. Carol Badney out there on the power play right now. The oldest player on the ice for either team. Shoots it in behind the Los Angeles net. Comes around the boards. Eddie Johnstone on the ice now for New York. Along with Allison. And the pass from Allison. Intended for Badney went too far back down ice. Back to Dave Maloney. The captain of the Rangers. Formally brings it around the near side. Maloney, an outstanding player on this team for many years now, it's becoming. Oh, great block by Los Angeles to take it away. In the neutral zone, Steve Jensen driven off the puck, however, by Johnstone. A couple of Rangers run into one another, and the Kings get a chance to clear it down the ice. Maloney goes back for it again, and the penalty is down to just 12 seconds. There is no score in the first period, 13 minutes remaining. Don loose in the neutral zone. He fires it back in. And once again, New York has to go back for the puck. Errol Badney behind his own net. The penalty is over. The teams are back at full and equal strength. Here's Mike Ellison on the right side. Good check along the boards. Johnstone fires it in. Goes around the far side to Korab. Korab being pressed from behind, but gets it over to Dave Lewis. Lewis just shoots at the length of the ice. We'll have an icing here as the Kings were trying to get a line shift. Didn't get that far, so there'll be no icing. 
keep the pressure on and force the puck again deep into the New York zone. Rangers having a little bit of trouble getting it up ice. Here's Laidlaw up the right side from Northern Michigan University. And boy, he's been impressive in his rookie year. Puck goes back down to Chris Katsopoulos. Katsopoulos also in his first year in the NHL. Puck tied up along the boards in the New York zone. Comes loose and down the ice. And Korab will chase it down. Being hounded a little bit from behind by Gresham, but Korab gets there first. So we'll have an icing call and a face-off in the New York end. Well, the first opportunity of the game was right there for the Rangers, but the Kings did a great job uh, killing that penalty, especially a good job by Dan Bonner, who I had the pleasure of playing against in Fort Wayne when he came up in hockey about three years ago, and then he had a chance to move from Fort Wayne to Springfield, and through his hard work, he get up and earned a spot with the Kings this year. Good look at what I think is the most underrated goalie in the National Hockey League, Mario Lasardi. An offensive team like the Kings has to have that kind of a goaltender to make that big save, and with 35 wins with a new club record for him, and played in 64 games this year, so he had himself a good season. That's for sure. 3.25 goals against average. Ron Greshner up the right wing for New York, trying to cut in around the defense on short draw, and he got a weak shot away. This is one wide. Dion on the right side, can't clear it out. Beck holds it in. Here's Greshner turning around. Duque goes in front of the goal. Callip is out in front now. Over to the right side. Hospodar a shot. Pretty well screened on the play, but it just went wide. Seemed to hit the side of the post. Went upstairs and look out because there's a brawl breaking out. Hospodar went after Dion. It started out with Callip and Dion. Hospodar came in and stepped into the picture, and now everybody's in it. Well, it's just a matter of time before something happened. Caliphas and Dion were just pushing, and then all of a clear blue sky came Hospodar. I don't know what Ed Hospodar was doing getting involved there. Well, you know, Mike, there's a book that says, uh, according to some players, that Marcel Dion can be intimidated. Here's a look at it here. Maybe Here's that's Hospodar. what they're after Watch here. Hospodar comes right in. You don't really see it. Oh. He just comes in and levels Marcel Dion. And as you said, that's an unwritten law in hockey. You don't mess around uh, with my all-star and my best player. Okay, there will be some penalties here, and with a scoreless tie in the first period, 11.51 to go, you're watching NHL Playoff Hockey on the USA Network. Okay, here's a look at the penalty situation. Hospodar gets two minutes for charging and two minutes for roughing. Marcel Dion, two minutes for roughing only, which means at the end of the first two minutes, the Kings will come up with a power play opportunity for a couple of minutes. All penalties starting at 8.09. There's a look at Marcel Dion, over 130 points this year for the third consecutive year, and he doesn't spend much time in there either, Mike. He's been the Lady Bing winner twice. Not at all, but I, I have to give uh, referee Hogarth a an eight for that call there. I don't think uh, Ed Hospital had any right getting involved in that little practice, so obviously made the right decision by giving him an extra two minutes. So the teams will be at five aside for the next couple of minutes. 11.39 remaining in the first period. No score. And the puck rolls out to center ice. Jay Wells chasing it down there. Number one pick of the Kings last year. Very intense player. Plays the game very, very hard. Has the puck behind his own goal. Early in the first game of the playoff series. Five game series perhaps. Steve Jensen to center ice. He's driven off the puck, and the Rangers cleared out to center by Dave Maloney. New York up the right wing side. Chance for Peter Wallen. He can't keep control. Now Jay Wells loses the puck. Carol Vadney right in, but they'll call an offside. You mentioned Marcel Dion. He's only had 70 minutes of penalties this year, which is very rare for him. And this look at Carol Vadney, the only member of the New York Rangers to ever play in a Stanley Cup winning team, and that was with the Boston Bruins in 1971 and 72. And before the game, I, I walked in down the runway, and there was Carol Vadney smoking that famous cigar of his, and he had his legs up in the air, and the guys were asking him why he never rushes the puck anymore. He says, someone's got to stay back there and guard, the, guard that goaltender. Well, he sure has changed his style in recent years. I think that's a little bit of a concession to his 35 years of age and uh, the fact that he started in the NHL back in 1967 with the Montreal Canadiens. Anders Hedberg, the Swedish Express, out on the ice now for the New York Rangers. Over to Ron Greshner on the right wing. Up to center, it comes to Nilsson. A lot of speed out there right now for New York with the five-on-five -five situation. Back a slap shot. Lazard, he lost it in his skates, and it's put in and tucked in by Hedberg. The Rangers lead at one to nothing. Well, that's just a case of a heads-up play by Hedberg. The puck was in at Lazard's feet on the slap shot from Beck. He didn't hear any whistle. He just went in and poked the puck down. Here's a look at it here. Gresham makes a nice backhand pass to Beck. Barry lets go. A wicked shot downstairs. And AC Lassard makes the save, but he can't really control it. He's looking for it. Hedberg comes in and knocks it into the open net. 
Hey, that's when a job when that defenseman's got to clear out the front of that net for you. The Sard had trouble finding the puck. Someone had to keep the players away from it. So the Rangers draw the first goal of the night and lead it one to nothing. The teams remain at five aside. Hedberg with a goal. Nilsson and Beck for the assist. Puck along the far board. Nilsson keeps it in. Beck keeps it in to the point. Passes it up to Gretzner. He's kept off the play by Korab. Nilsson on the left wing boards, and we get a hand pass properly called against the Rangers. Nilsson, of course, uh, when he's healthy, is awesome, but he has played no more than 59 games in any season he's been for the New York Rangers. And, of course, this year he had the broken left arm that kept him out for quite a time, some 27 games, and he's missed other games with other injuries. Well, he's very important to that Ranger team because along with Hedberg, you got to have that other guy that can skate as fast as he can, and Nilsson's the guy that you want to have out in that ice. And it's, it's interesting when they... They moved Ron Greshner from forward, uh, from defense up to forward, and he's done a very, very good job of playing along with Nielsen and with Hedberg. Hedberg getting that goal, and he's had 30 goals each of his three years with the Rangers, 30 or more. We're ready with Greg Terrion on the faceoff against Mike Allison to the neutral zone. Allison setting a rookie assist record here in New York this year with 38 assists and 64 total points, both record totals for a New York Ranger. Puck goes in behind the Los Angeles goal. Knocked off the puck there as well. Now they tied up along the boards. Allison comes in on the play with Chartreau, and we'll have a face-off in the Los Angeles end. So the game off to an exciting start. Good crowd on hand, not a sellout. And, of course, it's the only game in town. In fact, Mike, the Kings have talked a lot about that, that they feel that they got a little bit of a mental lift in a negative way from the fact that the Lakers lost. They know that a very good team can be ousted when they shouldn't be, perhaps. Right, and it's very uh, surprising that the Lakers did get eliminated, but... Not many people know who the L.A. Kings are in this time. I think the better they play, the further they go in the playoffs, it's going to make people out here in California very aware of the fact that there is a very talented hockey team in this, uh, in this state. Newspapers are all theirs for a while, and besides the baseball, of course, starting. Puck to center ice to Fox. Up the left wing, couldn't control it, taken away. A bit of a bad pass there by Jerry Gillis over from Vancouver in mid-year for Mario Marwa. Puck goes in behind the net. Kasopoulos back over to Allison. Allison, a second-round pick this year. What a prize he has become for the Rangers. Back out to center to Jimmy Fox. Over to Jay Wells. Wells shoots it in high off the glass. Baker knocks it down behind the net. One to nothing score. 9.50 to go in the first period, and the first penalty is coming on off right now. So now Los Angeles will have a power play for two minutes. Puck fired in offside, so the Kings will have a chance to send out just the unit they want, and the faceoff will be held in the neutral zone. Well, here's when you miss a guy like Charlie Simmer. You, you can't dwell on it. He's hurt. It's part of the game. But when you get a guy like that out, he's a, a big asset to this team. And Richard Martin, as you said, is a great goal scorer. He's proved for 10 years that he can score goals. But it takes a while for a line to get adjusted and get used, especially in the power play where you, you have to rely on moving the puck more so than you do on a regular shift. So it can be interesting to see how Richard Martin does do with, with Deion and Taylor. Martin's game Saturday night was his first since the 25th of January. So, you know, in spite of how strong he played Saturday, he's got to be a little sore tonight. Puck in the neutral zone as the Kings try to set up the power play. The Kings on the season scored 90 power play goals. That's a team record. Puck back in behind Baker. He fires it around to the far boards. Comes back out to the right point. Held in here by Larry Murphy. Murphy setting it up down the slot. His shot deflected just wide of the goal. Didn't have enough steam to follow off the second hit by Dion to get into the net. Puck back out to center ice. Los Angeles in its own zone. Near side over to Mark Hardy. Hardy has the puck in the neutral zone, leads it up ice to the left wing to Larry Murphy. Murphy waits at the point, shoots it across ice over to Dion at the right wing. They've been using him a lot on the point in recent weeks because the power plays have a little bit of trouble. Puck goes back in behind the net. Rangers Maloney trying to get it out of there. Rick Martin ties it up along the boards. He can't hold it. Puck comes loose to the far side. Dion behind the net struggling for the puck. Still a battle for it. Taylor comes in on the play, trying to kick it loose, and the Kings come up with it. Dion behind the net. Martin goes into the slot out in front. Back out to the left side to Hardy. He's got a man on the right side, Larry Murphy. Back to the left circle to Dion. A quick shot off a skate in front of the net. Back over to Rick Martin on the right wing side. Winds up for a hard shot. It's blocked off a skate out in front by Caliphate. And Duque comes up with a puck. He'll do a little skating here now with 35 seconds to go. Flips it to the Los Angeles end. Larry Murphy bringing it back up. Steve Jensen comes out. Korab, Fox, and Terrion all out for Los Angeles. Puck to the right wing side. The Kings have it there. Shoot it in. Left wing side to Jensen. Jensen skated off the puck. Johnstone tries to get the break. And Korab on the end will be called for a penalty. There goes the power play. And the Rangers, in fact, will have one in 18 seconds. Live from the Forum in Los Angeles, you're watching NHL Playoff Hockey on the USA Network. Los Angeles penalty. 
Jerry Korab called for interference, and you can see why, <laughs> rather obviously. And, uh, Eddie Johnstone uh, did a good job of taking a dive there, but Korab did interfere with him, wouldn't let him by. So the teams in about 10 seconds, well, right now they're even for 10 seconds at five apiece, but that will change very quickly here. Rick Chartra, born in Venezuela, the only player in the NHL net category. as ever a crazy piece of trivia. Back out to Wells, left wing point, winds up for a shot, deflected out in front, Baker's on his knees, but still loose out in front. Penalty is over, and now the Rangers have the power play for a minute and a half, and they lead it one to nothing. Goes in behind the net to Ron Greshner. Greshner on the left wing, up to Barry Beck. Beck shoots it to center. Rangers bring it up. Rangers finish 13th on the year. Here's Nilton. He's got Hedberg, and he didn't put it in. Right there, that wasn't Hedberg. Excuse me, that was Wallen on the play, but what an opportunity there. Puck goes to the right wing side. Out in front, a shot by Nilsson, and it's just wide, and he was in close. Back to the left wing side again to Wallen. Back out to Beck. His shot just wide, and Lazard has to dive on the loose puck, and the Rangers are humming around the goal. Oh, I'll tell you, this is a good power play they get out there now. They get the Swedish connection of uh, Wallen, Nilsson, and Hedberg. Here's a look at here. Watch this play. Nice. Nilsson just, look at him, just misses the net with that shot. Again, the three Swedes, well, they're off the ice now. It's the first time they've played that much together on the power play. But they, they get them out there and they can throw the puck around with the best of them. Nelson, Nilsson just missing that shot. Very, very close. One minute and two seconds remaining on the power play opportunity for New York. Change lines, Allison comes out there. John Stone and Don Maloney. From the faceoff, the puck right at the circle. The Kings come up with it. Bonar shoots it out to center. Puck comes back to New York. Don Maloney over to Johnston. Johnston going to wind up for a slapper. And it's blocked easily on the near side by Dave Lewis. Puck behind the net. Over to Larry Murphy. Murphy, number one pick of the Kings this year. Rich out to the Rookie of the Year candidate. Out to the point. A shot by Badney. Blocked down in front. And the Kings have room to skate the puck back out to center. Larry Murphy with 38 seconds to go. In control. Now flips it in. Facing it down in the right corner. Don Luce. Back along the boards on the far side. Dan Bonner behind the net. Bonner babbling and keeping that puck tied up in the New York end so they can't come down the other way. Doing a very nice job right now. Rangers still having trouble getting out at the moment. Now getting control is Ellis. Up the left wing side. Pass too far. Fired back in by Larry Murphy. Baker knocks it down. 6.19 in the period. Only seven seconds remaining on the power play as Allison comes up the left wing, leads a pass to Don Maloney. Maloney drops a pass. Puck in control by Dave, and now it goes out to center. Oh, what an opportunity there. Korab almost had a chance to grab it coming out of the penalty box. Back out to center. Teams are back at full and equal strength. Fired down the ice by Dean Hopkins into the New York zone. This may be an icing as Beck goes back toward it will be. So a one to nothing score, Rangers. 5.54 to go here in the first period. The Rangers, of course, had a bizarre year, to say the least. Uh, Freddie Shiro starting out the year 4-13-3. Craig Patrick taking over. The retirement of Phil Esposito. The rumors about Herb Brooks. The injury to Walter Kachuk. Monocucleosis for Don Maloney. Everything that could possibly happen, and then suddenly they got well at the end of the season. Well, they, they're getting hot at the right point. And, you know, your season's uh, forgotten right now. The season starts right now for the Rangers, so they went into it in the right frame of mind. They went in with the... Some big wins under their belt, and now it's the beginning for them. Kings bring it out up the left wing. J.P. Kelly on the ice. He shoots it down to the New York zone. It's taken away by Hospodar, and back out to center comes Lance Nethery. Nethery in the neutral zone, fires it to the right wing side. Peter Wallen looking for the puck there. Puck around the boards on the far side. Tied up along the boards. Korab comes in on the play. Tied up and held there for a faceoff. Sort of the checking line for New York. Jerry Gillis out there. Gillis was expected to be a great scorer when he first joined uh, the NHL with Vancouver as a first-round pick. It hasn't worked out that way. There's a big look at King Kong Korab, who had yeah. his great years with Buffalo. He's a big boy, 6'3", 220 pounds, and that's one guy that you want, don't want to mess around with. And when his son was born, I remember that uh, he put a T-shirt on him and it said, Son of Kong. Son of Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Face off in the Los Angeles zone, Billy Harris. New York fans obviously very familiar with him. Many years with the Islanders. Puck along the boards, tied up with Hopkins and Nethery, so we'll have another face-off. Harris has really meant a lot to this team, Mike. Uh, he, he does so many different things for Los Angeles and does them all well. Well, he's, he's played 10 years in the league, and he's been 20 goal scorer, seven of those 10, and that's a sign of consistency. Very back with that shot from the point that didn't get very far, and we get a whistle here for apparently a hand-pass call against 
New York. And that's why they're bringing it into the neutral zone. Here's a look at that hand pass there. People want to know what it was. You're not allowed to pass the puck to a player with your hand. If, if the puck hits your hand and then you pick up the puck yourself, that's okay. But when the puck hits your hand and goes directly to one of the men on your team, there's an automatic whistle with the faceoff being outside the offensive zone. Five minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the first period of the first playoff game. Los Angeles and New York and sliding hard into the ice here is Duguay. And they will call... Uh, and bring it back out of the neutral zone. Now they call. I didn't catch if they called an offside on that. I guess they did. Pair going to drop the puck. Billy Harris on the faceoff. Ron Duguay, the Broadway Joe of hockey. <laughs> He's missed a lot of year games. He missed 30 games with the last lacerated Achilles tendon, but he still scored 17 goals. Puck cleared out of the zone by Kelly, and it goes back down to the New York end of the ice. Rangers have it there. Tommy Laidlaw over to Katsopoulos into the neutral zone. Puck controlled by Talvis. He can't keep it. Over to Hardy. Mark Hardy driven off the puck. Now over to Don Maloney. Maloney shoots it in. Duguay can't get it. Up to the right wing side. Chasing it there is Dean Talifus. American player from Duluth, Minnesota. Along the board. Fighting for it is Kelly. Korab comes in. Talifus and another faceoff in the Los Angeles end. So we're live with the score right now. We're live from the forum. one nothing New York Rangers. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Philadelphia 76ers and Milwaukee Bucks resume their best of seven Eastern Conference semifinals Friday night in Milwaukee. USA cameras will be there to capture all the explosive action of the NBA's second season. It's Dr. J and Marcus J. Philadelphia versus Milwaukee Friday night, April 10 at 8 p.m. Eastern time right here on the USA Network. One to nothing Rangers, 4.43 to go in the first period. The amended version of the Triple Crown line out there with Rick Martin, Marcel Dion, and Dave Taylor. When Simmer was in the lineup, even as many games as he missed, the entire line went over 100 points this year. That's never been done before in NHL history. Puck into the neutral zone, taken by Ulf Nilsson. Nilsson driven off the puck, and we'll get an offside here, though, as Rick Martin was still in the zone for Los Angeles. Martin, I think, is certainly a good substitute, Mike, but... His style is so much different from Simmer. He can't sit in the crease. He doesn't have that kind of power. And so it does have to create some adjustments. Right, no question, because Charlie Simmer was the guy that planned himself in the crease. He's an aggressive hockey player. You know, Marcel Dion is a talented player, but he's not going to go in the corners and start bumping people. And you need a guy like Marcel Dion to have a, a, a Charlie Simmer and a Dave Taylor to go in there and work a lot like Esposito had Cashman and Hodge years ago. And that's what this line's compared to. They score a lot of goals. But Richard Martin is a good goal scorer, but it's an adjustment, no question. 422 remaining, first period. The Rangers lead it one to nothing over the Los Angeles Kings on a goal by Anders Edberg when the teams were five aside. Rick Chartraud shoots the puck into the New York zone. Comes to the near boards. Carol Vadney gets it there. Over to Hedberg on the right wing side. Anders skates it out to center to Nilsson. Nilsson has Greshner breaking ahead of him. He has to wait for Greshner because he's in the zone and the puck isn't. Back it comes to Vadney. Vadney over to the far boards. Rangers. Trying to keep control. Now they shoot into the Los Angeles end, and Chartraud goes for the puck. A number one pick of Montreal back in 74. And we got a brawl, perhaps, breaking out behind the King's net. Whistle blowing. A glove is off of Jay Wells at the moment. Well, Wells looked like he wanted a piece of Greshner, but Greshner really couldn't uh, get a piece of him. Now, Rick Martin's going to step in there. He's holding on. And there's Marcel Dion going to give Hospital a little stick. I think Marcel is best to stay away from Hospitar. He's a pretty tough guy himself. Let's leave that for maybe a Dave Taylor or another bigger forward. That's for sure. I don't know if they'll even call penalties here because they really never began to do anything to speak of. They just sort of tied themselves up against the net right there. So we'll take a timeout. one nothing Rangers in the first period. We're live from the Forum in Los Angeles. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Welcome back to the forum, and both players did get penalties. Greshner and Wells, two minutes each for roughing at 16-12 of the first period. So we and get, we've got a final, huh? We've got a final score in Minnesota 5, Boston 4 in oh. overtime. Dino Cicerelli in the overtime with an assist to Payne and McAdam, and that's going to make tomorrow's game a little more interesting. Boston, no way affording to lose two games in Boston. The first time... In the history of the Minnesota North Stars, they've won a game in Boston, and I'm sure the North Stars 
right now can't think of a better time. Another final score, the Islanders nine, Toronto two. The Islanders stepping up and doing the job that they're capable of doing. Another final score, an upset, no question. Oh my goodness. Edmonton six, Montreal three. Some we'll amazing you, scores coming in here. And we'll bring you up to date on the other ones as soon as we get them in. Boy, oh boy, what a start to the playoffs tonight. Remarkable. Okay, face-off down in the Los Angeles zone. The teams again playing at five aside with about 3.40 to go in the first period. Larry Murphy on the back line for the Los Angeles Kings. The number one pick they got, by the way, is a settlement in the Dale McCourt through high with Detroit. Buck at the blue line of New York. Goes in. Rangers pick it up there. Don Maloney over to the near side. Gets it Eddie Hospodar. Hospodar shoots it into the Los Angeles zone. In behind the goal to Larry Murphy. Murphy starts to bring it back out for Los Angeles. Over to Terrion. Terrion, a second round pick this year, and he's played well. Puck to Murphy. Murphy backhands it back over to Terrion. Terrion's got his open man on the right wing side. Trying to get some space to bring it in. Pass to the left wing over to Dave Lewis. Lewis has Fox going in front of the goal, but the Rangers come up with a puck. Hospodar around to Don Maloney. Three minutes exactly remaining in the first period. Puck rolls into Barry Beck. Beck shoots it over to the near side to Hospodar. Hospodar up to center ice, Eddie Johnstone. Johnstone, a lunch pail player and a tuxedo team, is one reference that was made not too long ago about the way he plays the game. Back to Barry Beck in behind the goal for New York. Falling down on the near side of the ice, one of the other Rangers with nobody around him. Puck comes to Duguay. Duguay trying to thread his way through the Los Angeles defense, almost got there. Puck along the boards. Duguay in possession there with Larry Murphy. They fight for the puck. Goes down on the ice. Murphy tackles him. Throws him for a loss. And uh, we'll have a faceoff with 2.24 to go. And the penalty's down to 36 seconds. Couple more scores. Joe, Philadelphia 6, Quebec 4. And in overtime, it's Vancouver 2 and Buffalo 2. So we, we look like we're going to have a very interesting uh, Stanley Cup series. St. Louis 3, Pittsburgh 2 in the second. And Calgary and Chicago tied at 2 in the second. I think uh, the Quebec Nordiques are a team to watch. They, they may have lost tonight, but I'll tell you, if they can split in Philadelphia, they could be very, very tough with the finish they had this season. Puck in behind the King's net. Mark Hardy fires it up the left wing to Jensen, a little bit too far, and back to get it is Dean Talapas. He drops it back on defense to Laidlaw, over to Duque. 2.09 to go on the period, and penalties down to 15 seconds. Duque ragging the puck at center ice, looking for some space to get up ice. Just on his side of the red line. Jensen chasing it a little bit, looking for that puck. Over to the near side to Katsopoulos. Five seconds to go on the penalties. Up the right wing to Talapas. Too deep for him. Korab grabs the puck there. It's tied up along the boards. The penalties are over. The teams are back at full and equal strength. Puck in behind the net, and Jensen comes up with it. Jensen from Minneapolis. That's where he was born and raised, and he's the fifth player in history to an American to score over 100 goals in a season. Puck goes down to the New York zone, over to the far side. Taken there by New York. Shot back to the near side with a minute and a half to go. Rangers leading by one. Long slap shot by Katsopoulos, and Lazard makes it about fifth time. Flipped out of the zone by Korat. Back down to Dave Malone. Over to Carol Badney. Badney back out to center to Ron Greshner. Greshner looking for a pass up ice to Nether to Nilsson. Nilsson and Hedberg out in front of the goal. Greshner controls, shoots, Lassard saves. Jartral on the board, in behind the net. Right forward there. Puck still in control of New York. They're doing a good job of holding in the zone. Here's Nelson, he's got a man out in front. Gets it to Greshner, hit by Chartraw. Puck comes again to New York. Hedberg, Hedberg along the far board. Rangers really pressing. Puck loose behind the goal with 50 seconds remaining in the first period. Rolls right out in front, and it's cleared away to the near boards by Jay Wells. Doesn't leave the zone, however. New York holds it in. It's tied up for a faceoff, and the Rangers are storming the well, next one more time. Still pretty exciting the way the, this game's going. The Rangers are putting pressure on them, and then next thing you know, L.A. puts some steam together, and they make some pressure on them. Listen to this crowd with the announcement that Edmonton beat Montreal. One of the things that's intriguing now, we've played virtually a full period, Mike. We've seen very little of the Triple Crown line, though. We've not seen much from Taylor, Dion, and Martin at all. If they can be shut down, the Kings could have some real well, trouble. It's been the biggest problem with the Marcel Dion last year. Didn't score a goal in the playoffs, so very important that those line, that line gets going. Buck down to the Los Angeles zone. Larry Murphy in behind the goal with 30 seconds to go. One to nothing, Rangers. Puck comes to the point, but not out. Held in by Allison. Allison in traffic. Goes along the boards at the near side. He's checked off the play by Lewis on the play. 
Puck still tied up along the board. Comes loose to New York. Out beyond the point. Barry Beck shoots it back in to late offside, so the Kings get possession and bring it to center. Here's Larry Murphy with 13 seconds into the zone. Puck rolls away to the far side. Kings looking for that tying goal in the closing seconds. Dion right out in front, but Martin couldn't come up with it. Just five seconds to go. Eddie Johnstone in his own zone. He'll skate it up ice, and that will end the first period of play. The score of the game, the New York Rangers won, the Los Angeles Kings nothing. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Coverage of the Stanley Cup playoffs will continue tomorrow night as the Minnesota North Stars visit the Boston Bruins in game two of their preliminary round series. These two clubs staged some bitter showdowns during the regular season and are sky high for this postseason meeting. Tune in tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Eastern for all the action on the USA Network, the official network for the NHL playoff hockey action. Well, quite a contest there tonight as well. An overtime victory, as you heard Mike Arruzzi, Arruzzi Honey say, in favor of Minnesota by a 5-4 score. Well, let's have a look now at some of the great moments in playoff action in overtime. The Stanley Cup playoffs, the climax to hockey's year. For players and fans alike, it is the most drama-filled time of all. And within the framework of Stanley Cup competition, the most exciting moments come in sudden death overtime. This is Bill Cook, a longtime star with the New York Rangers, who scored the cup-winning overtime goal against Toronto in 1933, as Foster Hewitt called the game on the radio. Into the corner, the Leafs back of their own net, they're two men short. Rangers, Bill Cook scores. Battered old Stanley Cup goes back to Broadway. In 1936, the Detroit Red Wings and the Montreal Maroons played what still ranks as hockey's longest overtime game. Mud Brunito scored the goal, which gave Detroit a 1-0 victory. The victim was Maroon goaltender Lorne Chabot. At the other end of the ice, Detroit goalie Norm Smith was shutting out the Maroons. The game lasted until 16.30 of the sixth overtime period. 1940, the last time the New York Rangers won the Stanley Cup. In the deciding game in Toronto, the cup-winning goal was scored in overtime by Brian Hextall. Seen here after the game with Ranger coach Frank Boucher. 1944, Toe Blake was captain of the Montreal Canadiens, the left winger on the famed punchline with Elmer Locke and Rocket Richard. The Canadiens defeated Chicago four straight in the final series. The cup-winning goal was scored by Blake in overtime. In 1950, New York Ranger goaltender Charlie Rayner was a key figure in a New York-Detroit final series that was destined to last the full seven-game distance. And it was a series featuring the most dramatic ending possible, overtime in Game 7. Detroit won that seventh game, a cup-winning goal in overtime scored by Pete Babando. 1951, Turk Broda's last playoff year with the Toronto Maple Leafs. A five-game Toronto-Montreal final, all five games decided in overtime, the Maple Leafs winning the Stanley Cup on Bill Barilko's goal. That winning goal was set up by Todd Sloan. Four months later, Barilko lost his life in a plane crash. 1953, the Montreal Forum. The Canadians win the Stanley Cup as Elmer Locke scores the cup-clinching goal in overtime on Boston Bruin goaltender Sugar Jim Henry. It was the high point in a brilliant career for Locke, now a member of the Hockey Hall of Fame. In 1954, again, overtime in Game 7 of the final series. The Detroit Red Wings, hockey's powerhouse in the mid-1950s, had the home ice against the Montreal Canadiens. Tony Leswick, Detroit's number eight, was more a nuisance as a defensive player than he was a scoring threat. Yet it was Leswick who received credit for the cup-winning goal as his shot caromed off Montreal defenseman Doug Harvey into the net behind goaltender Jerry McNeil. That's the last time a seventh game in the final series was decided in overtime. In 1964, Toronto and Detroit in the final series, one which produced a long-remembered overtime goal. In game six, with his team facing elimination, Toronto's Bob Bond scored a game-winning overtime goal, and after that game, it was discovered Bond had played with a broken bone in one of his legs. 
Two nights later, the Maple Leafs clinched the Stanley Cup in Toronto. 1966, a year when a surprise appeared in the offing after the Detroit Red Wings defeated the Canadians in Montreal in the first two games of the final round. But Montreal came back to win the next four with Henri Richard scoring the cup-winning goal on this play in overtime in game six at the Detroit Olympia. Detroit goaltender Roger Crozier was that year's Conn Smythe trophy winner. 1969. By now, hockey's so-called expansion teams had joined the NHL. Montreal won the cup that year by beating St. Louis in the finals, but the most dramatic series was the Canadiens Boston Bruins semifinal. Game six played in Boston, and it ended with this dramatic play. Jean Beliveau scoring the series-winning goal in the second overtime period. The only overtime goal scored by Beliveau in his brilliant career. Ten days later, the Canadians clinched the cup in St. Louis on a winning goal scored by John Ferguson in the third period of regulation time. 1970, and again the Boston Garden is the scene of a long-remembered overtime goal. Game four of the final, the Bruins needing a victory to clinch their first Stanley Cup in 19 years. The game went into overtime, and in the first minute, the game's premier player of that era, Bobby Orr, scored the cup-winning goal, sparking an incredible outpouring of emotion in Boston. 1977, again the Boston Garden, and this time the Bruins are the victims. In Game 4 of the final series, the Montreal Canadiens clinched the Stanley Cup with a four-game sweep on this play. Early in the first overtime period, Guy Lafleur setting up Jacques Lemaire for the overtime cup-winning score. 1979, the number one moment of that playoff year for the Canadiens, who were to win the cup for a fourth straight tie. Game 7, Montreal and Boston in the semifinals. And Montreal's Yvonne Lambert scores the series winning goal. 8 moments from hockey's most thrilling combination, the Stanley Cup and overtime. And on the first night of the preliminary round in 1981, a big moment for Minnesota in Boston tonight. Dino Cicerelli will be buying the pizza. He scored that overtime goal. We're still awaiting a hero from Buffalo, where Vancouver and Buffalo are tied at two. They are in overtime. Coming up next, Mike Arruzzioni will be joining us. We'll take a look at the highlights of the first period as we have a 1-0 game here. The New York Rangers leading the Los Angeles Kings. And this is Playoff Hockey on the USA Network. On the boards along with Califas, puck comes loose over to Rick Martin. Martin fighting for it with Hospidar. Kings have it. Yeah, trying to get it out of the zone and still in their own end of the ice. Line pass there by Murphy. Gave it away to New York. Califas picks it up. Talking about all those memorable goals. Califas has one. He won the NCAA championship for the University of Wisconsin in 73 with a sudden death overtime goal. Here's Los Angeles now to center and they need the triple crown line to do some work. Hard shot by Rick Martin but gloved by Steve Baker. Maloney clears it around to the far side. Rangers start to skate it up to center ice. Here comes Nielsen. Bringing it across the line. Nielsen goes to the left wing side. Hedberg takes the pass back. He's at the circle. Skating right in. Nobody picks him up. He shoots a backhander just off the side of the post. And again out in front. Hedberg shoots it again. Lassard stops him with a spectacular effort. Rangers shoot again and Lassard stops him. Oh my. The King defense goes home. remarkable sequence of action where the Los Angeles Kings simply were unable to deal with the tremendous skating speed of New York. Look at Hedberg there chasing the puck in behind the net comes around out in front gets the pass out in front blocks. Here's another chance for Nielsen the defenders seem confused as to whether or not to move out on him or not. The shot is taken and the Rangers lead it two to nothing. Nielsen with a goal just a question there, Joe, of uh, the, the L.A. defensive players just sort of standing around watching Nielsen. Uh, very surprised. They're not going out at him a little. And you can't give a guy like Nielsen that many shots on the net because he had time to, as they say, light a cigarette, smoke it, and then shoot it. They've got to start getting on those men. That's two goals. 
where Lassard made the, the original save, our defenseman here. Okay, Here's a nice save there. Now look at Nielsen, he's got plenty of time. He fakes the shot there. Nobody's really coming at him. They're going for the puck. And any time you get that much time to score, you, you, can, you can pick an opening and put the puck in it. You could just feel the inevitability of that goal as Nilsson scores at 125 from Anders Hedberg, and the Rangers now lead it 2-0 with a big goal at the start of the second period. Here's a break for the Rangers. Johnstone right in on Lassard. He shoots. Oh, it hit the post and didn't go in. It hit the post on one side, went across the goal mouth, and somehow, miraculously, did not go into the net. Well, I'll tell you, that there could have been the game saver. There goes Johnstone in all alone, and Eddie don't do miss too often. Watch this. He goes. He's got the whole side. It hits the post. And boy, if he scored there, that would have made it three to nothing. Here's another look at it from another angle. He brought it over. He had Lassard feet. He couldn't get any mustard on it, and it hit the post. I'll tell you, if that goal went in there, the Kings would have been a great big deal of trouble right now, being down three to nothing. But they got the break. They're only down 2-0. They should get going here a little better. In fact, there's always a danger in a play like that. It could hit the back of the goalkeeper and go back in the net. So the Kings got a tremendous break, but that one didn't go in, and they should be thankful they're still in this hockey game. Puck fired off the glass in the New York zone. Katsopoulos fires it around the board. Comes out to center to Allison. Allison backhands it over to the left wing side as the Rangers right now in good control of this game. Don Maloney shoots it in. Behind the net it goes to Jay Wells. Wells trying to skate out. Rangers with good forechecking. Maloney pressing hard. Up the right side from Carrion. Looking for Jimmy Fox. It's too far. And Barry Beck goes back for the puck. On the fly, the Kings will change. Jensen comes out. J.P. Kelly is out on the ice. And Billy Harris, puck behind the Los Angeles net. Kings trail two to nothing early in the second period. The Kings came in as favorites, but as we talked about it on the pregame, there was no question that the Rangers are a hot hockey team right now and far better than their 13th place finish would indicate. A long shot from the point, loved by Baker, and he'll hold on. So there is timeout. The score, the Rangers two, the Kings nothing. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Each day we can say they can. Yeah. That could be, too. Welcome back to the Forum in Inglewood. The New York Rangers leading 2 to nothing, And we've got a change on the score from Boston. Uh, Cicciarelli doesn't have to buy the Pete's after all. He didn't score the winning goal. Steve Payne did for the Minnesota North Stars. Right now, the puck down in behind the New York goal. And the Kings have got to find a way to get their offense to come to life, or they're in big, big trouble the rest of the evening. It hasn't been there, and again, you have to put the blame back on the Triple Crown line. Admittedly, they are the key line, but they have responded all season long, and the playoffs are going to have to do the same. Well, in the playoffs, you can't rely on one guy, and there's a guy that Rangers have to rely on a lot more so than uh, some of their other players, and Barry Beck is... The new word out of New York is when Barry Beck goes, the New York Ranger goes. The New York Rangers go, rather, and uh, he's playing very well at this point now, but you said earlier about the Kings. They haven't scored a goal yet. Last year, they shut off Dion in the playoffs, and the King get knocked, Kings get knocked out in the first round. And it's going to be the same way this year if they don't get some scoring from Dion and the rest of that triple crown line, especially with Cindy Harris. Billy Harris with a puck for Los Angeles behind his own net as the Rangers continue to forecheck. Los Angeles trying to bring it out on the right side. Dean Hopkins gets it to center. Pass goes a little bit too far. Harris racing forward there. Vadney backhands it away and back down into the Kings zone. Larry Murphy takes it. The number one pick of the Kings along the far boards to the left wing. Gets it out to center to Terrion. Terrion on a race for the puck, but he lost his stick. Plays a little soccer with it. Fires it in. Dave Maloney takes it behind the net. He's hit hard from behind by Hopkins. Back over to Talifas. Talifas leads it up to Vadney. Vadney across his own blue line, although in L.A. they're the black lines. Puck goes in wide to the goal on Lazard. Racing forward is Don Maloney. Puck along the boards on the near side to Duguay. Duguay has possession. Gets it to Don right behind the goal. He's checked off the play by Korab. Korab leads the pass to nobody. So the Kings are absolutely confused and perplexed right now. Their passing game is broken down. Their defense broke down in the last goal. Korab behind the goal. Over to the far side with Nilsson. Boy, are they dynamite when they've been on the ice tonight. This uh, combination of Greshner, Nilsson, and Hebber. Rangers have it at center. Greshner on the left wing. Greshner avoids a check by Hopkins. Shoots it over to the fireboards. And the natives in Los Angeles are getting rough with. Puck goes down to the New York zone. Chasing is there is Laidlaw. Laidlaw checked off the play by Dave Taylor. Taylor fighting for it along the boards. And we'll take a timeout here with the score in New York 2 and the Kings nothing. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Cartra shot from the point and Steve Baker holds on. 
Baker's responded well when you consider the fact that it's his first NHL playoff game, Mike. He's handled himself well, and he stayed on his feet well. As you look at the shot of the faceoff, he had difference right here. You see, Baker had a chance to see the puck. He had nobody screened. Look at the Rangers. Picked out the two men in front of the net and didn't give him anything to look at. A little bit of a try there by Taylor to set up a screen or a deflection. It didn't work. The puck comes out to center to Jay Wells. Wells in the neutral zone. Taken away by New York. Rangers skate to center. Here's Hedberg into the Los Angeles zone. Kings take it away. Up the right wing boards. Los Angeles. Rick Martin. Martin brings it to center. Taylor to his left. Dion along the left board. Taylor gets it. Gets it out to the point. Well shot. Oh, a try by Dion on a deflection. It was a little bit high for Marcel. Might even have been called back if he'd scored. And in the meantime, a little break is breaking out along the boards on the far side. There's another look at the shot from the point. Again, Baker had plenty of time. He really didn't. He didn't have anybody there to, to screen him or bother him, and it looked sort of like a little knuckleball coming in there, uh, end over end, but Steve had time to see the puck, he had time to follow it, and I don't care who was in the net, if you got enough time and nobody in front of you from that distance, there aren't too many goaltenders in the National Hockey League that are gonna let his shot go in. He had time to react, and all he did was make the save. Baker's the first American-born goalie for the Rangers since guess who? Jack McCartan, 1960. The man that led him to the Golden 60. Oh, that's right. He, is a, he had a great series. From the faceoff, down to the New York zone. The puck loose at the circle. Terry on trying to pick it up. Can Eddie Johnstone gets it. Johnstone, many people don't realize, was a tremendous goal scorer in junior hockey. He had a 50-goal season one year. The problem was he played on the second line behind Lanny McDonald at Medicine Half, so it was sort of obscured, and he's resumed his scoring career this year. Here's Barry Beck with a shot, knocked down by Terrion. Jim Fox skates it up for Los Angeles. Jensen cuts across the blue line. Fox trying to pass to Jensen. It's blocked by Beck. Puck comes loose. Here's Terrion. Right under front. He shoots, and Baker saves. Puck is still loose. New York picks it up. Allison back out to Don Maloney. Maloney across center. Chartraw back on defense, and Rick takes the puck in front of the King's net. Chartraw bringing it back to center. Winds up for a slapper, and oh! A Oxidar clears it out to the right wing. Allison has it there. Mike Allison, just 20 years of age, on the right wing. Backhands it to Don Maloney. Deflects off of his stick wide of the goal to the near side. 13.50 to go. Middle period. Rangers leading 2 to nothing, and a shot fires upstairs off of Eddie Johnston. Stick, so we'll have a face-off in the neutral zone, I would think. And that's the case. There's a look at Eddie Johnston. You mentioned earlier his best year in his career. He had 30 goals, 38 of 6, for 68 points. Here's Terry on walking in. Jeez, he doesn't really get anything on. I see a little flip shot. I guess when you see Barry Beck coming out, it, coming at you, you sort of intimidates you a little bit. Terry didn't get anything on it, and Baker made a nice save. Kings break down in the New York zone. Danny Bonner out there right now. First time he's played a regular shift tonight rather than a penalty killer. Puck along the boards in the New York zone. Nethery gets it. Can't keep it. Back out to Lewis. Hit shot off the post. Oh, my goodness. That just missed. He had beaten the goalkeeper, and it hit the pipe. Oh, my goodness. What a play. And here's a fight breaking out down in front of the New York goal. Dean Hopkins and Carol Vadney. Hogarth reminding all the players to step back and get out of the range and let these two players go at it. So you've got a young Dean Hopkins, who's only 21, going against 35-year-old Carol Vadney. Vadney doesn't fight that often. As you said, he's an older man. He just assumed play the game and get the game over with. I know when he was with Boston, he did uh, had quite a few tussles, but not so much with the Rangers. And Vadney is probably looking for help. <laughs> hey, I'm too old and tired for this. I don't want to get into a brawl like this. You'll notice all the players are holding back very well. And the new rules in the NHL. Strong penalties if you get involved. Well, we're going to get penalties here. It looks like the major part of the action is over. So we'll be back. The Rangers lead a 2-0 in the second period. You're watching NHL Playoff Hockey on the USA Network. Two minutes each for high sticking. Five minutes each for fighting. Welcome back to the forum, and seven minutes and penalties have been given to each player. Hopkins, two minutes for high sticking, five minutes for fighting. Here's how it all broke out, by the way. Hopkins, in fact, probably a little frustrated because he thought the goal was in on that particular sequence. So he goes in, and Badney goes in with exactly the same call. Two high sticking, five minutes for fighting at 639. And so with the coincident major penalties, the teams, of course, will be able to stay out there at uh, full strength. Hopkins, a tough guy to deal with. He looks like, he reminds me of a tight end on a football team. He's big, he's burly, 
And uh, Badney, of course, knows some tricks, having been around a few years. Well, I'll tell you, the Rangers got a break then on that slap shot from the point by, by Lewis, because it hit Badney, and from Badney it deflected right off the post. And when things are going right for you, those posts work uh, in your favor rather than against you. Well, that might have had a major impact on the game had the Kings been able to score and get, get started here, but they didn't. And so now the pressure remains on them to get some goals. Lock down the Los Angeles zone. The triple crown line comes out. Dave Taylor, Marcel Dion, and Rick Martin. Larry Murphy on the back line. It comes up to Taylor. The youngster at 47 goals this year, 44 last year for the Kings. Brings it right into the zone. Puck rolls back to Martin. He couldn't keep it. Rangers cleared out to center. Lance Nethery on the left wing side. Nethery, a weak shot, goes in on goalkeeper Lassard. In behind the net to Dave Lewis, he can't keep it. Nethery along the near board. He's got Laidlaw at the left point, but he can't get the puck out to him. Rangers still try to keep it in. And finally, the Kings come up with it to center, but it's taken away by Wallen. Wallen, the Swedish player, gets it to Gillis, a wrist shot, a rebound, it's saved again by Lassard, and covered up by Lewis. Good defense that time by the goalkeeper Lassard. Tough, tough chance. Puck in behind the goal on Baker. 12-19 to go. Middle period. Rangers lead it. 2 nothing. Los Angeles to Fox. Fox is grabbed on the play and can't get a shot away. Rangers bring it up. Left wing side to Jerry Gillis. Gillis drops the pass. Gets it back to Wallace. He's driven off the play. Korab picks it up. Nilsson comes in on him trying to take the puck away. Korab fights him off. Keeps control. Jerry shoots it out in the middle to Dion. Marcel Dion has been not a factor in this game at all tonight. Puck in on Barry Beck behind the goal. Taylor trying to chase him for it, can't get it. Puck out to center. Fox comes out on the ice. Carry on. Steve Jensen, a break for Hedberg. He's offside. Just missing there. It's interesting to watch the Rangers when L.A. has complete control of it and the Rangers don't have any chance of maybe picking up the play. All they're doing is sending one man in and the other two men are peeling off and picking up the wings, creating four men back there right away. So the Rangers going into not so much a defensive shell right now, but unless they have a definite opportunity to get on L.A. and, and create something, other than that, they're going to sit with one man in and everybody else back. Here's a look here. Great save by Lassard. Gillis hops over the defenseman. And he gets another shot at it, but Lassard stayed in his feet, which is a very important thing for goaltender, and he was able to make the second save. Gillis also was just landing back on his skates as he shot, so he had no momentum with it, and that helped the cause for Los Angeles also. Now the Rangers with the puck in the L.A. zone, driven off it. Duguay trying to pick it up, goes in behind the net. Fox chasing it. Korab there to help out. And the Kings shoot it to center, but just sort of throw it away, really. Here's Barry Beck in the neutral zone. Back up to Gillis. Gillis across the blue line into the King zone. A quick wrist shot. Lassard blocks it off the glove. Back it comes to Telephus. Telephus to Duguay out in front. And it rolls away to the far board. Steve Jensen racing for the puck there. Duguay keeps it in. And lost it to Los Angeles. King skated back up. Hardy, a long lead pass, a little bit too far for Jensen. Jensen fighting for the puck. Cleared away by Baker. Back in behind the net. Puck comes loose to New York. Caliph is in control. Carry on all over him, trying to take that puck away. Comes over to the near side. King scoreless now, halfway through the game. Puck out to center right. A little bit too far. The Kings couldn't pick it up. Back to the Rangers. Up to Duguay. Duguay checked from behind and in front, and Chartraw comes up with the puck. Chartraw along the far boards. Caliph is on him. Over to Carrion. Greg Carrion has it behind his own goal. Skates out the right wing from left to right. Brings it out towards center right. Ron Grusher picks it up for New York. Rangers, great puck control. Mike analyzing perfectly the setup that the Rangers have gone into now to control that puck and hold that lead. Hilton on the right wing as Rester breaking in the middle, but it's driven off by Los Angeles. Here's Chartraw. Chartraw to Bonner. Bonner into the New York zone. Almost got through, but a good skate block away by the New York defenseman on the play, Dave Maloney. Puck fired back in on Baker and an offside play here. So with the score, 2 to nothing, New York, 10 minutes remaining in the second period, you're watching NHL Playoff Hockey on the USA Network. Two of the Kings, nothing. Joe Starkey and Mike Ruzioni at the Forum in Inglewood, California. Los Angeles on their home ice. Don't want to let this one get away. It changes the whole nature of the series. If the Rangers win on the road, of course, it suddenly means they have the home ice advantage in the five-game series. Billy Harris skating around, waiting for the faceoff. And he's going to step out now, and Danny Bonner will take it. Ready for the draw, right-hand side of Lassard. And it stays right in the circle. Hedberg wins the draw, goes with a backhander wide. Over to the far side to Nilsson. Nilsson flips it into the middle, taken away by Bonner. Bonner backhands it out to the point, but not out of the zone, held in by New York. Back out in front, and Hedberg couldn't get it there. Puck along the near board. 
Kings in their own zone. They've spent a lot of time in that end of the ice in the second period. Rangers get it back. Laidlaw skates it into the right wing circle. He's got Nilsson trailing. Pass up in front to Hedberg, trying to pass it out in front. And Los Angeles comes up with a puck. New York's Kreshner turns around for a quick shot that just goes wide. Now back to Jay Wells for Los Angeles. King skated to center. And the pass again too far. As, Carrion could, or as uh, Kelly could not hold it. Backhander out in front. Bit of a trip as Wells got his skate underneath it. Allison, but no call and what shouldn't have been. Puck in the neutral zone to Dave Maloney. Over to Don Maloney. Left wing side. Chance here for Allison at the left circle. He's got a man out in front. Doubles it out in front. Don Maloney missed on the shot as Harris tied him up. And the King forced to just ice the puck. And that sums up the problems they're having right now with nine minutes to go in the middle period. Got a final score in Joe from Buffalo. Buffalo three, Vancouver two with Alan Hayworth scoring that winning goal in overtime. So there's another hero for you. And Calgary four and Chicago three. So watch out for that Calgary team. They could cause some troubles in the playoffs this year. And that's the first time that they have beaten Chicago this year. And Calgary, of course, has a, a lot to live down in many ways. But they say that's the old days in Atlanta when they could never get by the first round. A new team in a new city. Right. Here's a look at Marcel Dion having a very difficult night tonight. The Rangers doing a good job of checking them. From the faceoff, the puck stays in the Los Angeles end. Allison behind the net has Maloney there to help as well. King's trying to skate it out. Now up the right wing side. Pass comes up to Taylor. Taylor skates it to center. Has an open man. Bring it into the zone as Lewis. A quick shot just wide on a very quick hard wrist shot. Back out the center to Don Maloney. Allison breaks up the left wing. Over to the right side is Eddie Johnstone. Coming from behind is Rick Martin. And the Kings get the puck. Dave Taylor up the left wing. Kostopoulos in front of him on defense. Good pass. Opportunity for Murphy. A shot deflected wide. Back in behind the goal. Rick Martin backhands it out in front. Goes over to the far side of the ice. Marcel Dion back to the point to Dave Lewis. He can't keep it. And the Rangers shoot it out to Don Maloney. Maloney started the season with mononucleosis and has come back beautifully. Pass right out in front. Just blocked away by Los Angeles. Barry Beck skating on the left circle. Has possession. Rangers right out into the crease. Puck in behind the net to Allison. Allison being hauled down on the play. Puck tied up with Dion along the boards. Johnstone in there. Allison comes up with a loose puck. Kings really, though, look befuddled in this period. Puck tied up along the boards. And we'll get a face off here. A whistle. And almost close to uh, a brawl breaking out as Katsopoulos upended. I guess it was Rick Martin. Skates away from him, though. So let's see if pace will reign here. It looks like it will. So with 7.55 remaining in the second period, the Rangers leading 2 to nothing. You're watching NHL Playoff Hockey on the USA Network. USA Network. 2 to nothing, Rangers. 7.50 to go in the second period. Ron Duguay out at center ice right now for New York. Rangers have the puck. Shoot it back into the Los Angeles zone. And Korab chasing it down. Puck along the far board. Taken by Terrion. He can't keep it. Back to Duguay. Shoots it back in. Hedberg out there on this line right now as well. And Calipin. A little bit of a different combination for New York. Puck along the boards. Korab trying to push it loose if he possibly can. Still tied up along the boards. Nothing yet. And no whistle either. Hedberg hit by Wells. Or by Hardy. He lands on the puck. And we'll have a faceoff in the Los Angeles zone. Mark Hardy, by the way, born in Switzerland. His father, he gets his skating naturally. His father played hockey in Europe. And his mother finished seventh at the 1952 Olympics in figure skating, representing England. Instead of being the more aggressive team, which for the whole year they have been, they've been an aggressive skating team, and, and they've put a lot of pressure on people, but they're not doing it so far tonight. Baker stops the puck behind the New York Jets. Net, <laughs> late bug, gets it back out to the point. Hardy shot dribbles in, cleared away by Beck. Beck a dominant force, of course, in front of the goal. Left wing side, cleared out by Jerry Gillis. Kings go back to get it. Fox clears it to center. Gillis picks it up at the blue line. Lost the puck to New York. Rangers on the left wing side. Wallen. Wallen fights Fox for the puck. And Jim comes up with it for Los Angeles. Clears it to the point, but not out as Laidlaw holds it in. They backhand it in. Hardy goes back for it for the King. Hardy pressed from behind by Peter Wallen. Now it comes loose to Nethery. Nethery can't keep it. And the Kings get the puck. Fox has it. He's going to be hauled down by Nethery. And there will be a penalty call on New York. And maybe, Mike, this is what the Kings need right now, and we'll come back and talk about that. The score, 2 to nothing, New York. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Season, the Kings scored only 2 out of 25 on the power play against New York. They'll get a chance here off of that play right there. Nethery off for tripping at 13.30. 
And the Kings down by two goals need a goal, obviously, in the worst way. Well, this is very, very important here for the Kings now, as you see Maloney going down to ice the puck, because this works two ways. If the Rangers kill it off, it gives them that momentum and it gives them that chance to flex their muscles and say, hey, you know, you're not going to do anything tonight. And on the other hand, it gives the Kings a chance to get back in this game and get this crowd behind them and pumped up, ready to go. On the back line, it's Hardy and Larry Murphy. And up front, Taylor, Dion, and Rick Martin. Here's a chance for Johnstone on a shorthanded play. And almost got away with it. Kings going back in behind their own goal. Mark Hardy, this is a befuddled a King team as I have seen in a long time. Kings in their own zone. Larry Murphy bringing it up to center. Up to the New York line. And give credit, obviously, to the Rangers for making him look this way tonight. And an outstanding game. Chance here for Talifant. Only Taylor is back, fighting him along the board. The puck goes in behind the net. One minute is all that remains in the power play, and the Kings haven't had a good shot at it yet at the other end. Now Los Angeles along the near boards in their own zone. A pass out to center to Rick Martin. Martin trying to break in around the defense. It's poke checked away, and Duguay takes it for New York. He flips it down the ice. Puck going back, and Korab will pick it up there. Chartraw comes out on the back line. Steve Jensen is up front with Fox. And carry on. And the Rangers, by sheer grit determination, force that play to break up as Duguay all over him. 4.56 to go in the period. Only 20 seconds on the power play. King still looking for a shot on Baker of any sequence. Here's a very light one by Fox. Puck along the near board. Beck slams on it and gets it out to center. Here's Duque trying to break through on Korab. Cuts around him. Shoots wide. Penalty down to 10 seconds. Duque shoots it out of the middle. Jimmy Fox picks it up. Fox leads it back out to Terrion. Terrion up to the New York blue line. Carries it in. Goes to the left circle. And the Kings were offside on the right wing. And the penalty is over. 4.30 to play in the period. And Los Angeles, if you've seen one of its team expire this week, is very concerned about its other one right now. Well, I'll tell you, right now they haven't been able to play the type of hockey that we know they're capable of playing. And on the other hand, New York has done a good job tonight. We, we can't say that the Kings aren't playing well because the Rangers have been all over them. They haven't given them a chance to do anything. Marcel Dion has been ineffective, and the reason being because the Rangers haven't given them any room to move with the puck. They've killed off the penalty right there. And I'll tell you, right now, the way they're playing, this game's going to be theirs unless the Kings can get something going. Rangers with a puck. Carol Vadney shoots it to center. Fired down in on Lassard, just wide of the goal. Going back toward his Chartraw. Chartraw avoids a check, leads a pass up the right wing, gets by everybody into the New York zone. We may have another icing call here, as it's touched by Vadney, and that's the case. But bring it back down to the other end. More action, of course, here tomorrow night with the USA game tomorrow night. Minnesota at Boston. And that should be a beaut after what happened there tonight. Minnesota winning for the first time in 36 games. They've been 0-28-7 going into that game tonight against the Boston Bruins in the Garden. You got a good crowd here tonight of 12,305, which is quite a few uh, people for a playoff game here in L.A. And I noticed a few of them being from New York. That's right. There are some, some transplanted types here tonight <laughs> cheering for the Rangers. Walk around the boards to the far side. J.P. Kelly. Spent most of the year in the minors and joined the team about six, seven weeks ago on a steady basis. Ties it up along the boards for the Kings. We'll have a face-off in the Los Angeles zone. You just wonder what the impact would be that first goal, though. The Kings are, are so often a game can turn around just by getting that first one and getting you loosened up a little bit and feeling that you can score. And so the Rangers doing a great job of making sure that that kind of momentum doesn't start for Los Angeles. Puck along the boards to the Kings, out to center to Harris. Harris loses the puck to Greshner. Greshner backhands it down to the Los Angeles end. Here's that defense we were talking about. One man in, two men just tail back and pick up the wings. Rangers doing a good job of having people back there. Makes it almost impossible to get a rush out ahead of the forwards from New York. They are really in great position. Puck in behind the net. Badney bangs against the wall there for it. Kelly can't get it. New York comes up with the puck. Greshner goes to the right wing. Hedberg to the left, takes the pass from Nilsson, beats the defense, moves in, shoots wide. Round the fire boards, it comes over to Kelly. Kelly shoots for Bonner a little bit too far. 3.15 remaining in the period. New York leading 2 to nothing. Billy Harris along the near boards. Gets it to center. He has grabbed. Nilsson grabbed him right in front of the referee. A delayed whistle. Off the ice comes Lassard. Bonner comes on. Dion is the extra player. He's felt it from behind. Bonner is, and the buck is touched by New York. And the Kings will get another power play opportunity. Well, we're going to give them another chance there, but I'll tell you, the Rangers can't afford to keep giving Los Angeles chances. They're too talented a hockey team. So here's a look at it here. Watch Nielsen here. 
he had cut, takes him by the arm. He's, he wants to dance with him or something. Look at that, he won't let him go. Good call by the official right on top of it. But as I said, you can't give the Kings that many chances. The Rangers have played well so far tonight. But you get him out there, you get a guy like Dion out on the power play. He's not gonna, uh, he's not gonna come out empty handed too much tonight. So the Kings get their second power play opportunity in the last four minutes. See if they can do anything with it this time. Dion on the faceoff. Puck comes out to the right point to Larry Murphy. Murphy shoots it across to the left point. Shot taken by Hardy. Blocked by Baker to the far side to Taylor. Taylor battles for it there with Laidlaw. Kings keep puck possession. Back out to the point. They hold it in the zone nicely. Back to Murphy. Back over to Hardy. Left side to Dion. Right in. He shoots. Baker save. Caliphas picks it up and clears it down the ice. And Duque following it right down the ice. Puck in behind the net to Larry Murphy. Murphy's starting to come out of his own zone. Murphy a pass up the left wing to Martin. Martin having his troubles tonight, trying to adjust to two new line mates, and the whole line being tied up pretty effectively here tonight. Dion on the right wing, fires it in, goes in behind the goal. Baker comes out for it. Beck backhands it. Martin knocks it down but couldn't keep it. Duguay shoots it only to the point. Nice play by Hardy to keep it in. Back over to Martin. Goes around one defender, carrying it right in. He backhands it and just misses. It's put right out on the porch and nobody can put it in. Back in behind the net to Martin. Back out to the left point to Hardy. He takes the shot, gets it over the left side instead to Martin. Back out to Hardy. He drills one high and it just bounces off a couple of bodies. In behind the net, King still have it. Dion out to the left point over to Hardy. Hardy with a slap shot. And Baker got a piece of it as it went wide of the goal. Over to the right wing point to Larry Murphy. Tremendous pressure by Los Angeles. Hardy fakes the shot, shoots high, and caught by Baker on a deflection try by Taylor. That hit Taylor on the side of the arm, then it hit the glove hand of Baker. I don't know how he could be that quick to hold that puck as it did change direction a bit. Here's a look at it there. Hardy with the shot. Might have got, yeah, just get, did get a, Dave did get a piece of it, but I think what happened was it bounced off the shoulder of Steve Baker, and then Steve reacted by covering up the puck once it hit him in the shoulder, but nice play by Baker, and the, by Baker, rather, and the first time as we've seen L.A. mount any kind of offensive attack here, putting, putting quite a few shots on Baker and keeping the pressure on the clock, especially that play by Richard Martin, as he came out front with a real nice quick move there, showed his quick stick that he does have, and Baker made a nice save again. Easily the best offensive sequence of the night for Los Angeles. 36 seconds still remain in the power play. Korab shoots. That puck went sailing up there. I, every time I see the pucks go in the stand, those people got to be crazy to try to catch him. <laughs> Here's a look at Bob Berry. Very perplexed probably by what's happening to his club right there. And to his left, uh, and at the top of the picture there, Parker McDonald, the assistant coach who was with Minnesota for a while as a head coach and an assistant coach with the Rangers in New Haven. Those two coaches have a unique system for changing lines, by the way. McDonald changes the defenseman independent of Berry who switches the forward. Puck controlled by Chartroy, takes a shot, blocked away by Badney, back out to center, and it gets by Korav. Facing it down is Allison, who overskates it. The penalty down to 18 seconds. Puck tied up along the boards, and it comes off to Los Angeles. Up the middle comes Perrion. Perrion to the blue line. Badney in front of him, slices it around to Fox, and an offside call against Los Angeles. By the way, uh, since the Rangers are in here tonight, it was nice to run into an old New York Ranger who's sitting here tonight and now runs a golf course out here. A lot of fans remember the NHL. Jimmy Nielsen's here tonight, the old chief. A lot of good years for the New York Rangers. Well, you know, we're looking at the score here. It's two to nothing, Rangers. Kings not really mounting any offensive attack except for the last couple of minutes, but they're not out of the game by no means. Uh, one goal and they're back in it, especially with overtime here. Minute, Anything can happen in this hockey game, so they're not out of this game yet. They just got to get something going. Here's Fox getting down the slot. He shoots and it goes upstairs. And we're down to 54 seconds remaining in the period. As Mike says one goal at any stage is in the next even 10 or 12 minutes. If they could get back within one, would probably just change the whole nature of the atmosphere. Here's a look at Ron Greshner and his 27 goals this period. Uh, tied Reed Larson and Ray Bork for defenseman, but he did play up front a lot. And is uh, gonna be our guest between periods, so it'll be interesting what he has to say about this game. Buck goes into the neutral zone. Dave Lewis shoots it in. Fired around the boards to the right side. Kept in and shot back over to the far wing. Checking there is J.P. Kelly. Back out in front to Bonner. Bonner winds up, a shot blocked. Comes out in front. Bonner can't get back for the feedback from Kelly. 
to Greshner. Greshner trying to break through <laughs> Los Angeles defense, and he just became an Oreo cookie. He was the cream in the middle. Puck over to the far side. Back in behind the net to Dave Lewis. Lewis with 20 seconds to go. Shoots it to the right wing. Out to center comes Los Angeles. Danny Bonner shoots it off the far board. In behind the net. Baker has to take a funny bounce on it. Comes back out in front. Good play by Murphy to hold it in. Puck comes to New York, however, with seven seconds to go. And that's going to just about do it for this period. Although there are signs the Kings are coming to life, they're still going to skate off here at the end of two periods of play. The score, the Rangers 2, Los Angeles nothing. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. And right now, let's send it down to Rob Glazier. Well, Joe, shades of 1978-79. Several years ago, as we take a look at a tremendous hit there, the Ranger getting the worst of that one, but the Rangers have had far and away the better measure of the play. A couple of years ago. It has ago. not been any kind of strong offensive thrust all night long for Los Angeles. Five shots in the first period to six for New York, 11 in the second period for LA, six for New York. And of course, the gold so far, Hedberg at 9.04 the first period from Beck and Nielsen when the teams were at five aside. And then at 125 of the second period, that goal from Nielsen from Hedberg to make it a two to nothing score. That's where we are right now. And don't forget now, tomorrow night, 7.30 Eastern Time, Minnesota at Boston after Minnesota upset the Bruins tonight. Saturday and Sunday, back to the L.A. Rangers series, 9 o'clock Eastern Saturday and 7.30 Eastern Sunday from Madison Square Garden. Oh, we're ready for the start of the second period, third period, I should say, and the Rangers have the puck and shoot it down to the Los Angeles blue line. Back out it comes to center. Rick Martin has it. Dion in the middle. Dave Taylor on the right side. On the back line, it's Larry Murphy along with Dave Lewis. Beck and Hospidar on defense for New York. Duguay in the middle. Califas on the right side. And on the left side, it's Jerry Gillis. Puck down to the Los Angeles zone. Dion shoots it around the boards. Comes past the point, past Beck, and down the ice. The Kings simply have to try to open it up somehow and get back in this game, driven by two goals. Hospidar banks it off the boards on the near side. A little more pressure by Los Angeles right now. Puck behind the net to Rick Martin. He can't get it. Over to Hospidar on the near board. Rangers get it out of the zone. Out to just beyond the blue line. Dave Lewis fights for it there. He can't keep it. And a good roll of the puck almost for New York's Nielsen. But back in the Los Angeles zone and an offside play call. So we get a final win from St. Louis. St. Louis beating Pittsburgh 4-2. to And one stat in the game is St. Louis had 48 shots on Pittsburgh goalie, and uh, Pittsburgh only had 20, 26, so St. Louis, 4-2 victory over Pittsburgh. I think there was some concern among a lot of people about how the Blues would react in the playoffs. They made such an effort to get the number one spot in the overall standings and failed that there was some danger of a letdown, but apparently that certainly wasn't the case tonight. Billy Harris out at center for the Los Angeles Kings. Out of 715 possible games he could play since 1972, he's played 714 of them. Iron Man replacing the Gary Unger total, I guess. Puck bounces in, just rolls in, and just trapped there right now by Vadney, who... Nice play there by Carl Vaden. <laughs> Vadney <laughs> caught that one right in the breadbasket because if you let it go by him, here's a look at it here. He looks like a, a first baseman getting a stop a shot hop there. There he, he catches it and then he steps on first. But smart play by Vadney. Here's Korab, a shot from the point, but blocked away. Over to the far side to Carroll. Vadney leads it up to Greshner, out to center too far. And the Rangers Hardy has it there. Two to nothing score, third period underway. And of course, the Kings only need two in regulation because we'll have overtime in the playoffs. Buck around the boards, out to Hardy. His shot goes wide over to the far side. Held in by the Kings. Billy Harris along the boards. Now it's cleared out to center. Back to get it is Hardy. Hardy at his own blue line. Back hands it up the right wing side to Korab. Korab flips it off the boards. Back down into the New York zone to Carol Vadney. Vadney back out to center to Nilsson. Over to the right side to Gretchner. Greshner into the boards along the near side. Hardy takes him out of the play, and it goes to Kelly. J.P. Kelly, John Paul Kelly, back to the near side, and Korab goes for the puck. Kings still trying to find themselves, and they're running out of time to find it. On the right side, Los Angeles, back to center, pass too far, and taken away by New York's Mike Allison, back to the defense. Rangers just doing a lot of skating right now. Johnstone at center ice. Downstone a pass to the left wing to Allison. He's got Don Maloney cutting into the crease. Allison brings it almost right in, and Jay Wells took it off his stick. Up the right side. Here come the Los Angeles Kings. Up the center ice. Carry on to Jensen. Moves in. He shoots it wide. 
Over to Dave or to Fox on the right side. Pass out in front. Terry on just over skated it. And Laidlaw grabs it for New York and shoots it down. Lassard watching it roll by him. We're going to get an icing call here. So with a timeout, Rangers leading two to nothing. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. USA Network. Two to nothing Rangers, 17-23 remaining in regulation time. Joe Starkey and Micah Ruzioni on the USA Network. And from the faceoff, the puck goes to Jim Fox. Fox along the boards. He lost possession, and the Rangers just dump it out. Back down ice it goes to Jay Wells. He's chased from behind, goes back to Chartraw. Chartraw deep in his own zone, being forced ever deeper by Jerry Gillis. A pass out to center goes too far for Fox. Beck gets possession, loses it back to Chartraw. Chartra on the right wing into the New York zone. A slap shot off the arm of Baker. To the near boards. The Rangers out to center. Fox gets it there. Over to Jay Wells. Wells trying to keep possession. Can't. Hospodar takes it. Hospodar fights for it. And the puck goes down to the Los Angeles zone. A lot of scrambling type hockey right now. No real flow to the game. Hospodar and Barry Beck on defense. And the checking line out right now for the New York Rangers. Nethery, Gillis, and Wallace. Puck down to Chartraw at the Kings goal line. And we'll get an icing call, bring it back down the other end. And the Kings have to break the pattern that the Rangers are setting, Mike, because the Rangers have a slow puck control. Kings can't let that happen if they're going to win. You know, there's a look at Terry Gillis right there, who's uh, done a good job. He's only played 46 games this year with the Rangers, uh, but he's picked up 24 points. And a young forward, he's, he's got some, uh, some, some kind of a future there with the Rangers. They're very high on him. He's just got to get away from that injury bug that's been that's been plaguing him this year. But From the faceoff, the puck comes out to center right. Dave Lewis for Los Angeles. A terrible pass back toward Larry Murphy. Back out it goes all the way down to the other end. We'll have no idea. They wash it out. Steve Baker lets it go for Vatsy. Rangers in their own zone. Out to center it goes to Telephus. Tries a lead pass. Intercepted by Los Angeles. Kings bring it back in. Flip a backhand with the far boards. There's nobody there. Taylor's back out there with Dion and Martin. And their shot total on the night. Let's take a look at that for you when we get a chance here because it certainly isn't significant. This individual line shot total. We told you the Kings are... 17 to 12 right now as a team, but I don't think the triple crown line has had much to do with it. Puck along the boards in behind the New York goal, a backhander right through the crease. Here's Murphy, he shoots. Baker came out and cut down the ankle very well. Back to Duguay, over to the right wing side to Talifan. Duguay takes the pass back, right wing board, beats Lewis, keeps puck possession, over skates the puck. Lewis rides him off it. Puck loose behind the goal. Dion comes in on the play, and it's tied up for a faceoff. The shots in the game so far for the Rangers' big line. Rick Martin has one. Dion has two. And Taylor has one. So four shots from the line that has to do the most damage for Los Angeles. You, know, you talked a little about the, the style that the Rangers have played, that slowdown style. It's a lot of what Craig Patrick has tried to instill in the Rangers when he took over as a coach, that little European style where you, it, it's puck control more or less than just dumping the puck in. You try to maintain puck control and keep possession of the puck as much as possible. And they're doing a good job of it right now because they're keeping L.A. from mounting any sort of offensive attack. Nilsson, Hedberg, and Greshner, the front line for the New York Rangers. The Kings up the right wing, skate to center. Fired into the New York end. Right in on Baker. Puck behind the net. Kings have possession. Right out in front! Harris with a great opportunity. Puck is still loose. And Baker did not see it for a moment. It got away from him, but Harris didn't either. He had turned completely around, Mike. Didn't see the puck quick enough to take a slash at it. And then Baker had time to grab it. But the Kings, with their best chance in a while, to score a goal. I thought it was a great save by Baker. He just more or less was lying there. And Harris got somewhat of a shot at it. Here's a look at it there. Watch Harris there. The puck's... Right there, and well, you don't see the original shot. You see Baker smother it and pick it up, but Harris did take a shot. Baker, here's a look at it here. There you see Baker in the, watching the play in front. Here comes the puck out front. Watch that right there. Pretty good look at it. You see Baker sliding across, and that's when Harris had his first shot at it. And then Baker smothering up the puck and forcing a face off. But he did make a great save when he slid across on Harris. I should say, at point blank range, that was a tough stop. Ron Greshner for New York. Out to center to Nilsson. Nilsson back in his own zone, up the right wing. Leads it towards center. The Kings can't get it. 
Now New York skates up. Laidlaw just shoots it in. In behind the net. Los Angeles trailing 2 to nothing, 14-43 to go in the game. The puck comes to center. Brought up by Hopkins. Hopkins gets it to Harris. Harris shot goes wide. King tied up on the side of the net. A big pile up. It's still loose. Rangers pushed off the puck by Korab. It stays in the zone along the board. The Kings beginning to push a little bit harder now with time starting to work against them. They are beginning to put some real pressure on Steve Baker. But there's a timeout here. The Rangers lead it 2 to nothing. And with the score 2 to nothing, you're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. And Ed Hospidar, the two big tough defensemen out on the ice right now for the New York Rangers. And on the front line, it's Allison, John Stone, and Maloney. Steve Jensen on the faceoff for Los Angeles, and the puck goes off to Eddie Hospidar. Starts to skate out of his own zone with 14-20 remaining. Good pass up the left wing to Maloney. Maloney driven into the board. Puck goes to Jay Wells behind the net. Around to the near side, taken by the King. Carry on. Starts to skate out of his own zone. Pass to the right wing side. Good pass that time. Fox can't hold it, however. Now Chartraw. Chartraw into the New York end. Fox a good move on the right wing. Gets it to Terry, and he's got a man on Jensen, and he's just caught from behind at the last moment. Buck again to Terry on. Terry on along the board. And the Rangers, Barry Beck, will skate it to center. Back to Maloney to the right wing side. Over to Allison, who gets a fierce, fierce hip check by Wells. And here come the King, Steve Jensen. Jensen shoots, and that may have set a record for the highest puck into the crowd we've seen all year. Well, maybe that's what the Kings need, Mike, is a check like this to ignite him. Look at that. That's hit. probably the perfect, most perfect check we've seen this year. Wells doing a great job of riding Allison out of the play. Watch this. He gets his hip there. You can't ask for anything better than that. That's that's the way the game of hockey should be played. It's a physical game, and, and it's no question that players, especially with a guy like Wells' size, are capable of making these teams physical. But that was just a great, great check right there. Perfect timing, perfect hip right into him. Well, the Kings send out their top scoring combination. Again, we should mention, though, that Rick Martin, uh, the new addition, has played only one game since January 25th. He scored Saturday night for the Kings. It was the first time he'd scored gold since he got two against Edmonton back on the 16th of January. But Dion and Taylor are out there. And this is a chance here for the King. Trailing two to nothing, 13.20 to go. Dion at center right. Tries to pass to the left wing and hits escape. Slashed in by Rick Martin. Goes in behind the net and taken by New York. Up the right side to Duguay. Duguay. Back to the left wing side as the Kings hold it in. Buck behind the net to Dion, trying to turn the corner. A quick shot by Taylor, blocked out in front. And one of the Rangers falling out of the period to try to grab it with his hand in that sequence. That's what the Kings and the crowd is upset about. But the official is simply going to call a face-off in the New York end. Well, he almost had a shot there. Marcel Dion spinning behind the net. He wouldn't have out in front to Dave Taylor. Dave really couldn't get a shot on it. was smothered. Here you see, there's Dion picking up the puck right here. Watch, he gets it out to Taylor. In his feet, David really couldn't get a shot on him. And who's that? I it's Vatnay. Uh, Hostar jumps on the puck and crosses that face off. But there's a future hockey player. Nethery Gillis and Wallen out for the New York Rangers. And from the face off, it gets by Larry Murphy. He'll have to chase it down. Back into his own end of the ice. 12.52 remaining. Rangers still lead two to nothing. King skate to center. Billy Harris shoots it in. Goes wide and we get an offside call apparently. I assume that's what it is. The center line offside of it is. That's the case as Mark Kerr, the linesman, makes the call. So the Kings have got a lot of work to do and of course if they lose, that means that the Rangers have the home ice advantage. They'll only have to win at home in the two games at home to win the series even if the Kings win tomorrow night. There's Billy Harris trying to break through the defense and can't do it. Rangers tie him up. Buck back out to center. Back it comes to Dave Lewis over to Murph. Murphy has it on the right wing. A long slap shot blocked by Baker off the glass. Kings doing more hitting as the third period rolled along. Here's Nethery on the right wing. A possible two-on-one. Leads his man on the left. A shot just wide by Gillis over the goal. Back to the near board. Kings try to skate the center. The pass to Harris is too far. Harris... Hope checks it away, can't keep it. Back it comes to Peter Wallen. 
Wallen back over to Katsopoulos. Katsopoulos has the puck. Katsopoulos over to Barry Beck, and he flips it in. It's Dave Lewis in the hand as he tried to knock it down. Comes to the near side. King skated up. Here's Perrion. Perrion with 12 minutes to go. Brings it to center. Murphy goes to his right. Perrion can't keep the puck. Rangers playing keep away. Holt Nilsson back on with Hedberg. Nilsson cuts into the middle. Hedberg goes to the left wing. Puck is dropped to Gretzner. He just wide. Around the boards of the near side to Jensen. Held in by New York. Back to Hardy along the near side. Mark Hardy bangs it off the board. Rangers keep it in with great pressure. Tipped back out down the middle. Gretzner slap shot just wide. Back it comes to Hedberg. He's got Nielsen. He shoots and misses from point blank eight feet away. Buck out in front to the King. Larry Murphy being pushed by Nielsen. King still in their own zone. Being really pressed on that sequence. Hardy across the blue line. Left wing side to Jensen. Tough ankle. Shoots. Baker saves it anyhow and holds on. 11-12 remaining. Rangers 2. Kings nothing. You're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Rangers leading 2 to nothing. The face off at their end of the ice. Comes out to the left point to Mark Hardy. Hardy shoots it in behind the goal. Comes around to Dave Maloney on the far side. Korab comes in to try to keep the puck in the zone. And Rick Martin got possession but couldn't hold it. Here come the Rangers. Two on one. Allison and Johnstone. Allison shot. Save the start. Rebound out in front. And Maloney missed on the pass out in front of the goal. Kings back to center. And the Rangers have the puck again. Down to the Los Angeles end. Dave Taylor. Taylor pass to the right side to Korab. Korab to the New York line. Goes to the right circle. Korab shoots it around the goal. To the near side. Marcel Dion backhands it over to the far boards. Only Don Maloney is there. Martin can't get there. And it's just easily sent down to the other end. It'll create an icing call here. Hardy will touch the puck. But it uses up some more time. And there are 10.24 to go. You know, you talk about statistics and how meaningless they are or how important they are, which is the way you feel. Right now, the Kings have 22 shots on net. The Rangers on that last rush had their first shot on this net this period. They've only had 13 shots on net, and yet they lead two to nothing. So the Rangers are playing that deliberate, slow style. Here's a look at that. It's almost a three-on-one shot right off the shoulder of Lassard, and there's no rebound there. But the Rangers making the best of what little chances they have had tonight. And L.A. not really putting any pressure on Baker, consistent pressure anyway. Puck stays down on the New York end. Backhanded by Bonner. And goes in behind the goal. Kelly gets it out in front. Bonner had a chance, but Baker just swept it away at the last second. New York back out to center. Ron Duguay cutting across the middle. Leads a pass into the Los Angeles zone. Duguay holds it in. He's checked off the play. Back it comes to Talifus. Talifus sends it into the far corner of the Los Angeles end. To Chartrell behind the net. Around the boards of the far side to Hopkins. Hopkins trying to tie it up instead of skate it out. Pass out in front. Knocked down. Goes off to Hopkins. Hopkins gets it and they'll call a hand pass. So face off in the L.A. zone. 9.47 remaining. Minnesota and Boston tomorrow night. 7.30 Eastern Time. Right here on the USA Network. Some of the scores being announced here. And, of course, we've passed them all along to you, I guess, at this point. Here's a look at that hand pass there. It's like a basketball tip-in. Number 24, I believe it's Wells there, just batting the puck in the air, which is a very smart play, so the puck doesn't have to bounce in front of Mario Lassard. Right off the faceoff, Rangers get a chance. The fan on the shot, Peter Wallen. Now Jensen brings it up into the New York zone. Goes around the defense. Nobody there to help out. Rangers pick it up. Shoot it around to the near side. Wells tries to trap it in the zone. Can't do it. Back down ice it goes. Rick Chartraw at the Los Angeles end of the ice. Chartraw has been on four Stanley Cup teams with the Montreal Canadiens. Barry Beck with the puck. His second year on a playoff team. Puck goes back down near the Rangers. Puck around the boards and we'll get a whistle here for an icing call and bring it back down again. 9.17 to go. Still 2 to nothing, New York. Well, with a lot of young players on this team and this is pressure hockey, playoff look hockey. At, look at that icing there. Lance Netherly thinking that he should have touched it. Ooh, pretty close. Him and uh, Wells got to the puck at the same time. It looked a little like Netherly might have got a Nethery. Might have gotten a stick underneath Wells, but the official on top of it usually make the right call 99.9% .9 of the time. So he was right in that one. 
pushed out of the bench, by the way. Walter Kachuk is wearing the headset to the New York bench. King Tabot right out in front. Back out to the point. Held in by Murphy. Nice effort. Comes off to Greshner. Greshner at the fireboard. Back to Murphy again. He shoots it back in. In behind the goal. Kings have a man out in front. Deion Dumartin, he missed. There's a little rustiness on that play because Deion with a backhander to Rick. And he missed the pass. Look out, we got something growing here. Dave Taylor being chased right now by Carol Vadney. And Hogarth is going to call some penalties. I didn't see what started it, but Vadney was actually chasing Taylor when the whistle blew. So we'll get the penalty calls. The Rangers lead it 2 to nothing, And you're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Carol Vadney goes off. And Dave Taylor goes off. Vadney and Taylor, two minutes each at 11-10 of the third period. Two minutes for slashing on Vadney. That started as he swung at Taylor's head, and Taylor got two minutes for roughing for reacting, as you might imagine he should. One thing, Joe, to look for now is 8.50 left in the game. L.A.'s going to start to take a few more chances, and you may see the Rangers bust on a couple of two-on-ones or three-on-twos because L.A.'s got... Uh, Nothing to lose right now. They're, they're down two goals, and they got to make something happen here. So they may start taking some chances, but maybe their defense can crashing down a little. So two things can happen. They can keep the pressure on, or New York can get some three-on-twos or some two-on-ones. Teams are at five aside at the moment. Kings have Marcel Dion and Rick Martin. And on the back line, it's Murphy and Lewis. Here come the Rangers, though. Nilsson to Hedberg, right in. He shoots. Puck is loose on the court and saved behind Lazard, blocked away by Lewis. Saved a goal on that one. Puck to center. Back down to Laidlaw for New York. He backhands it back to center right. Nielsen on the right wing. Cross ice to Barry Beck. Beck across the blue line. Goes in at the circle. A hard shot goes wide to the near side. Juge drops it off for Laidlaw. He flips it up and out of the rink. Up into the seat. Almost another goal there by Anders Hedberg. Nice little soft flip pass. And Hedberg busting on a defenseman. And Lassard just got a piece of it. Doesn't look at Bob Barry again. No question he's got to be a little uh, concerned right now. Not so much at the score or the fact that they're not winning, but the way that they're playing. Here's Hedberg cutting in there. Watch this. He just flips it. I think Lassard just got a piece off it. It almost trickled in. Hardy was there to knock the puck away. There are a lot of people, by the way, in Los Angeles that believe that Bob Barry does not get past the first round. He could be unemployed. Here's Dean Calipas with a backhander. Blocked over to the far boards behind the net. Comes to the near side. King Cabot got back in again. Start leaves it there for Korab. Korab up the left side. Penalties have a minute 11 to go. Puck to center is a little bit too far for Danny Bonner. Cleared away by Katsopoulos. Katsopoulos has it. Kings get it back. Danny Bonner. Bonner over to the near side. Over to Mark Hardy. Hardy comes up the left wing into the New York zone. He's got Hardy as their man in front of him. Bonar. And it's blocked away, though. Here comes New York. Ron Duguay down the right side. Only Korab is back. Racing up in front is Maloney. A shot goes wide, though, by Duguay. Back out the center to Bonner. Bonner has Dresner back. Moves in on him. Goes to the right circle. Backhands it. Nice play. Harris, he scores! What a shot. <laughs> Great play by Dan Bonner. I'll tell you, he started out the game just playing a little. But he's played super tonight, and he's got him playing a regular shift. And a nice drop pass to Harrison. Here's a look at it here. Harris with a nice wrist shot right over Baker's glove. And I'll tell you, he had Baker going the other way, and he shot back on that other side. Here's another look. Watch Bonner. He's coming in. Spins away, makes a nice backhand pass. Watch that. Beautiful play. And Harris with Baker going away from the play. Caught the puck, shot it, and caught it going in the far corner. Nice play all around. Well, this changes a lot of things, doesn't it? 7.29 to go. Harris scores from Bonner. And the Kings trailing by just a goal. The team still at five aside. A shot! Oh, just missed by Jensen right back on Baker. Kings hold it in. Terry on at the right wing side. Things are heating up now with 7.15 to go. Rangers come back down the left wing side. Only Wells is back. Pass toward Hedberg, but it, the shot taken from Nielsen did not have a lot on it. And the save made by Lassar. But I imagine that the next seven minutes are going to be very, very exciting. Well, they're back in the game now, and 
They've done exactly uh, what we didn't expect them to do. They, they weren't getting anything going, and then all of a sudden, bang, just goes to show that that two-goal lead is so hard to protect. The Rangers had quite a few chances to expand on that lead, but couldn't quite do it. The Kings stayed in the game, and now they're only down a goal. So seven minutes left to go in a game with overtime. They can pull a goal later in the game. This game's far from over. Benny Johnstone on the faceoff against Marcel Dion. On the faceoff, the Kings had it for a second and lost it. Johnstone shoots it around the goal to the far side. Barry back at the left circle. Back in behind the net. Rangers have it there, trying to feed it out in front. It's just past Johnstone. Back out to the point to Barry Beck. Beck shoots. Lazard almost lost it. Johnstone keeps it in. Goes to the right wing board. Don Maloney. He's hit by Chartraw on the play. The penalties are over. Teams are back at full and equal strength. Puck comes loose to Chartraw. Shoots it around to Dave Taylor on the right wing, and he gets it down ice. Chasing it down is Mike Allison with six and a half minutes remaining. But remember, there's always that possibility of overtime. The Kings just need one. The Rangers have played an outstanding game defensively. Great positional hockey. And lead it 2-1. to one. And we get a whistle here for a faceoff in the neutral zone. 6.25 to go. There's Eddie Johnstone, as we said. His early years with the Rangers, he only had 34 total goals completely coming into this season. He has 30 this year alone. He's from British Columbia. A low draft pick back in 1974. And as far as I'm concerned, he's the Pete Rose of hockey, the way he plays the game. Puck in behind the net. Los Angeles has it. Kings Larry Murphy up the left wing side. Rangers Hedberg forces it away. And a shot goes wide over to the far side. Over to Hopkins. Rangers doing a good job of responding here quickly to the pressure of holding on to that one goal lead. Their forechecking has been outstanding. Puck in the neutral zone. Taken away by Los Angeles. Harris breaking at the blue line. He's off, or Bonner breaking at the blue line. He's offside. Rangers have their checking line out. Jerry Gillis is out there with Nethery and Wallen. There's Danny Bonner who got the goal. Bonner has not played a lot for the Kings. He's missed six of the last seven regular season games. He's spent three years in the minors. He's been working hard tonight, though. He's probably been their, their most consistent forward tonight. He's given 100% every time he's been out there, as well as doing a great job of killing penalties. Duque with a good flip. Takes the shot off the arm of Lassard, and he goes back and hauls it out of the air. Nice play by Mario Lassad there. Tell you, one thing he does well is he stays with that initial save he made. Duguay busted in. Here's a look at it here. Ronnie lets go of the rolling puck. Lassard makes a nice save, and then bang, he takes away the rebound with Rangers coming in on him. Face off to the left-hand side of Mario. That's the cry here. Mario, Mario. And from the draw, stays right at the circle, and Korab takes it. Jerry on the left wing. Leads it to center. Too far. Laidlaw shoots it back in. Kings have to go back and get it. Five and a half minutes remain in the game. Past the center ice goes to Jensen. Jensen to the New York zone. Skates it in. And they call offside on Jim Fox for the right wing. Possibly a little skirmish here. Looks like we'll be all right. Okay, Rangers leading two to one. Five and a half minutes remaining. And you're watching NHL playoff hockey on the USA Network. Sometimes a one goal game playoffs. It should be a great finish, I think. Oh, especially with that overtime, because the Kings got that explosive offense, and anything can happen. So we'll see what happens in the closing seconds, and if we get a change of strategy here, perhaps, by New York or Los Angeles, and how they approach the... Puck held on by Baker here. The Rangers, of course, don't want to go too deep of the shell, because... They don't want to let the Kings suddenly move in on them and uh, give up a goal that way. Here's where there's a lot of pressure on the officials, too, because they've let a lot go tonight. They haven't called that tight of a hockey game. There's five minutes and ten seconds left to go in the game, and I don't think you're going to see him call anything right now, not the way this game's been going and the way they've let it go. So I think what the officials got to do now is just try to maintain quality as much as anything and, and let these players battle this one out. Puck rolls away to Hedberg. Hedberg gets it out to center ice, and the Rangers, with that goal lead, bring it up. Freshner almost across the blue line. Did not see his winger on the left side. Duguay had gone in way early, and so an offside play. Face off in the neutral zone. Duguay didn't appear to have any idea that uh, Buck was going to come in that far behind him. I think Carl Vadney is explaining that to him right there. 
Oh, yeah. Now, Ron, the thing is, this is yeah. the blue line. You're supposed you're, to stay on this side. You're supposed side to wait, Ronnie, and uh, <laughs> when one of our guys goes over first, <laughs> you know, he might have been saying that, too, a way to just keep things loose and keep things relaxed. That's right. Five minutes to go, that's all. Rangers with the puck and the lead. And Dave Maloney just lays it in ever so softly into the Los Angeles zone. There's that Hardy. one man court check again. Lead pass down ice, too far into the New York zone. Wilson and Martin struggling or totally struggling for it. They're going to call icing. And you can see that the uh, Kings are not at all pleased with that decision. Uh, Martin think... was actually holding, or uh, Taylor was actually holding the Rangers. I, I think what they're going to do here is they see the two players, each guy holding each other. So I think what the fans are complaining about is it shouldn't have been icing, but what it was actually was a two line offside. Right. So I thought it was a good call by the official. It wasn't icing. It was a two line offside. The, the puck kept past two lines and another player picked it up. And I think the fans misunderstood that, but now they begin to realize it when they see the face off is not in the circle. It's from where the pass was made. 442 to go. The Kings have outshot the Rangers 24 to 17, but they trail two to one. And the Rangers trying to get this one on the road tonight. And even if they have to settle for a split, they go back to the garden knowing that they could win it at home. Ready for the faceoff. Danny Bonner against Allison. And it comes to New York. Backhanded in behind Mario Lazar. Over to Jay Wells. Wells at the far board. Wells leads the pass to center. Here comes Bonner. Harris cuts across the blue line. Bonner's shot. Baker lost the puck. Oh, it hit the post. They missed it. Baker lost the puck. It comes out in front, and the Kings miss a chance again. Oh, what a strange play that was. Puck in the neutral zone. Wells shoots it back in. Oh. oh it isn't that, that hard to see, fellas. It's see a little black again. round. <laughs> Eddie Johnstone behind the net. Oh, there, there's a uh, play that has an enormous effect on the entire evening right there. Puck in the neutral zone. Everybody's kind of waltzing around it here at the moment. Loney takes a shot at it and gets it back into the King's zone to Wells. Back to Wells on the near side. 3.49 to go. Now the Kings to center. Chartrock as the Kings change line. Chartrock drills one in on Baker. Baker leads it to the near side. Backhanded out of the zone. Not out of the zone. Held in. Lewis right in front. Puck is blocked out in front by Beck on a great play. Puck loose on the door mouth. Right out in front. Kings have two men sitting out there, but the puck is tied up. Oh, what a big play by Barry Beck then in that two-on-one. Okay, the Kings are really starting to put the pressure on them right now. And New York's got to regroup. Watch this play by Beck just with his stick. Very big play. Henry, the Rangers had a little time to regroup there, and then Bonner almost had another shot there. I believe it's Bonner. Yes, it's Bonner on the side, then they had another shot. And then there you see Baker smothering up, but Barry Beck made a big, big play right there for the Rangers. Oh, that was a tremendous defensive maneuver by Beck. Flash shot by Murphy, bounces off a of body, comes off to the fireboard. Jensen looking for it, trying to keep it in for L.A. Rangers pick it up. Kings get it back, hold it in the zone, rolls to the fireboard, carry on, back out to the point, shot chipped up off the glass and the near side. And what are they calling a whistle for? Well, they are calling a whistle. There didn't seem to be any reason unless they felt that it hit the top of the glass, was actually out of play and came back in. Well, it was either that or the puck might have stuck on the ledge of the board there, and they're going to have a face off for that. But one thing the Rangers can't do right now is they can't panic, they can't run around. They have to keep control of what they're doing and play position hockey. You have a tendency sometime in a situation like this to run around and try to do everything yourself. You got to rely on your left wing, your right wing, your center, your defenseman, and just play your, your position that you're assigned to play and cover the puck. L.A. on the other hand has got to run around. They got to try to get the puck and keep firing it to keep the pressure on. So it's two different contrasts right now with 3:10 left to go in this game. Face off to the right hand side of Baker, right out to Lewis. He shoots, save, rebound. Baker trying to get a hand on it, and he ties it up as the Kings swarm all over him. Nice save by Baker there. How important that faceoff is in the zone there. Terry on winning the draw, getting it back to Lewis. Very, very important in that defensive zone to win those faceoffs. And there's the faceoff back, and Baker makes the save. And at least the puck was there, but the Rangers being able to pick up the opening. There's Terry on with a quick shot, but it's blocked out in front by Baker. Didn't have a lot on it. Back out it comes to the point and beyond. Lewis belted from behind by Duguay. Back into Carol Vadman. 
across ice, and the Rangers get it out to center. Here comes Duguay to center. He's got Chalapas on the right wing, just shoots it in. Wide of Lassard, comes off to Larry Murphy. Murphy's pass, up the right wing to Carrion. Carrion on the right wing into the New York zone. Keeps possession, tries to drop it off, and Gillis intercepts for New York. Back down the left wing side comes Nielsen with two and a half minutes remaining. Kings very shortly going to have to worry about pulling the goalkeeper. Back in behind the net, Los Angeles in their own zone. Does not have puck possession, now they do. Larry Murphy around to the far side. Over to Fox. Fox skating in front of his own net. Murphy gets out of his way. Fox cuts up the right wing. Leads the pass up to Murphy. Murphy trying to carry it in. Can't do it. Has to shoot it in. In behind Baker. Kings change lines quickly. Bring out the Taylor line. Dion out there. Martin. Martin's got the puck. Gets it to Marcel. Shot. Rebound. Oh, what a save by Baker. Rebound to Taylor. Puck goes to the far side. Adley Ford there. Dion looking for it. Comes out to Korab at the point. He's offside. Cross the line. No doubt right there, my save of the hockey game right there, boy. Dion with a great wrist shot. Baker with a super pad save. The save of the hockey game right there. Watch this right here. Here's the puck. I, I believe we're going to see it in this, this set of replays. Watch this. No, oh, this isn't it. This is when they clear the puck. Already passed it there. Passed that save. A great save by Baker. And I'll tell you, LA's put the pressure on now. 29 shots on net and quite a few of them. Very, very good shots in the last few minutes of this period. 154 remaining. New York holding on to a 2 to 1 lead. And they're under siege right now by Los Angeles. Buck in behind them. New York around the boards. Kings intercept. Put it out in front. Rangers come up with it. Get it beyond the point to center. Korab goes back for it. Tries to shoot it back in. Kings look for it. Can't keep it. Now New York Maloney leading the pass to center. Into the King zone and offside. So we'll have a faceoff with 1.34 to go. And now, here's the stage of the game where the minute the puck gets back in control of the Kings in the New York end, they've got a bullet. The guards will have to come out. Well, this is when you debate what do you want to do. You know, what time do you pull the goalie? Uh, when do you call your timeout to try to set up for some, some type of offensive play or, or some type of offensive situation for yourselves? Kings have a lot of momentum going. They are on the attack constantly, and you don't want to pull the goalie too early and give the Rangers a chance to get that fairly cheap empty netter when you might score anyhow with this kind of pressure. So a lot of strategy going on between Craig Patrick and Bob Barry and their assistants at the moment. Ready for the faceoff in the neutral zone. And it comes to Los Angeles, but they can't keep it. Allison backhands it in on Lassard. Bounces over him, in behind the net to Hardy. Hardy will bring it back up, and we're down to 1.24 to go. A long pass down the left wing for Harris is too deep. It means an icing call, probably. They wash it out. Goes to the far board. Racing for the puck there. Rangers backhanded up the board, but it stays in the zone. Korab keeps it in. In behind the net to Harris. He's got Bonner out in front. Harris trying to turn it around. Can't do it. 105 to go. Puck still in the zone. Maloney checked along the goals by Korab. Hopkins comes in on the play, and it's tied up for a faceoff with 58 seconds to go, which would appear that they will probably call out Lassard right now and go with the extra forward for the faceoff, I would think. I would say they're going to probably call a timeout, call Lassard out. 58 seconds, you got to throw everything at him right now. And uh, I think what they'll probably have, yes, there's Dion, Martin, and Taylor, and we said that line's been shut out tonight, so Rangers got to be very, very careful of him because that's a sign of a great hockey player and a great line is one that can score when the pressure's on him, and that's one thing they've been able to do, but Coach Berry hasn't called his timeout yet. I'm curious what is going on here. I wonder if he's going to wait and see if they win the well he's going to take his time out is what he's going to do right now there you go he's taking his time out now it's the king's timeout, so they will discuss how to do this and it could be that uh, what Bob wants to do is wait until they actually win the face off and get puck control rather than take a gamble that if the Rangers win it they might just shoot it down to the other end and beat you that way a very important face off right here now for the for the Kings as well as the Rangers the Rangers what they have to do is what we said earlier is not panic play that sound hockey that defensive style of hockey that they played throughout the game tonight don't run around don't leave your position and on the other hand the Kings got to throw everything with the kitchen sink at them boy they got to come out guns glaring let's see who they put out there now they're going to put out well obviously their big line will be Rick Martin Dave Taylor Marcel Dion Hardy 
at one point. Larry Murphy at the other, and the extra player out there. Let's see who that is. It's over on the far side, and we can't pick up the number yet. But the goal is empty, and so here we go. And the shot comes, oh, beyond the point. The extra player, Jimmy Fox, did not keep the puck in the zone, and now the Kings have to scramble with 40 seconds to go. Pass to the left wing. Goes to Martin, carries it into the zone at the left wing board. Rangers just frantically going to try to hold on for 40 seconds. Puck comes back out to the left point to Hardy. A shot! A save! Taylor is on the port. Baker tries to hold on, and it is held under the goalkeeper, Baker, as they slam away at him right in the crease. Boy, a big save by Baker there on the shot from the point, but he did a good job of once he made the save, he smothered it under his pad. Look at the whole sequence. Watch Hardy's it shot. there. There's Baker. He makes the save, and there's the puck underneath his pads. He doesn't know where it is, but I can see it from up here that it's under his pad, and then it's it's like a first and goal, fourth and goal at the inch line. Everybody pile on and try to push something forward, but Baker did a good job. I wouldn't be surprised to see if, if Craig Patrick calls his timeout. 34 seconds remaining. 2-1 to one Rangers, the faceoff in the New York end. The goal is empty at the Los Angeles end of the ice. And the Kings making a late effort to try to save this game. Now the Rangers have called their timeout that they're entitled to. And I think just to get some breath right now and get some air and uh, relax. Okay, who have the important task right here of taking that face off against Marcel Dugan. Obviously a critical face off. The Kings need it the worst way. From the draw goes behind the net. Laidlaw fires it around the boards. The Kings hold it in, kick it back in. Goes into the corner. Time running down, 27 seconds. Held along the boards, we'll get another face off. That's fine with New York. 24 seconds to go, a few more seconds off the clock. Everybody in the forum on their feet right now. Face off there, one by Duguay. Again, wasting 10 seconds, 12 seconds, very important. Trying to win one more with 24 seconds to go. Marcel Dion. A big king line held without a point tonight. Billy Harris goes over to the right side. Dion on the faceoff. Taylor's on the left, and so is Jim Fox. Murphy at the right point. They get it out to Murp. He winds up. He shoots, and it's blocked away. Back along the board. The king slash at it to try to keep it in. They get a bit of a bad break as it goes up over the glass, but they get a bit of a good break in the fact that it went off in such a way that they did not bring the face off out into the neutral zone. Well, there. That would have killed them maybe with 17 here's, seconds to go. There's a draw back there in the shot. Baker again had time to see the puck. Nobody there to screen him or tip it in. So that makes Dion one for one on face offs with Duguay. So another important face off here. By the way, because everybody is standing, that's why you're getting end zone shots. Our cameras cannot see over the top of everybody on their feet at the moment. In the closing seconds, 12 seconds, in fact. Puck along the boards and out of the zone. That's going to do it. It goes into the empty net. The Rangers wrap it up and win it. It'll be three to one almost certainly as the puck just slithered ever so slowly down to the other end into the Los Angeles net. Let's see if they give credit for the goal. Might be Ron himself, Duguay. Here's Duguay here get, getting the puck. Yeah, I, I think Duguay is the only guy that talked. That, right. Look at the puck just sort of rolling and rolling. And right into the middle. I don't really think Ron was aiming for the net. He was just trying to clear the puck. But 32 shots on net for the Kings tonight. They couldn't dent Steve Baker's pads, but uh, they couldn't put that consistent pressure on him. I think the shots are a little misleading tonight. So that will do it, and the New York Rangers win the opening game of the first round of the playoffs, taking a one-game lead over the Los Angeles Kings. The final score, the New York Rangers 3, the Los Angeles Kings 1. This is NHL Playoff Hockey on the USA Network. 88-83. to I'm talking about Reggie King on the outside. He hits a sweet jumper, a nice baseline move. But the Suns come back. Alvin Adams shows...